right. Now that we're all juiced up, ready to fucking go here, huh? Yes, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cheers, guys. I will cheers with the with Hell the screen yeah. here. Ah, there uh, we go. Yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> yeah, we're doing something new here. This podcast just got it all set up. And we're using Discord. We got what is it? we got Degs over Deegs. here. Deegs, Deegs. I knew I was gonna fuck that up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're well, we're hoping you get in good health soon. Yeah, RIP, man down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, though. So we're using the Discord. We got him on the on the video screen here, so we can see him. He can see us. We all set to go. Yeah. All right. Hell yeah. Introduce yourselves. Who, who we got here? Who we got across from me here? All right. Uh, Corey, aka Sizzy. All right. My name is Daniel, aka Daydream. <laughs> and then through Discord. Deegs through Discord. Discord Deegs. Yeah, Discord, Discord Deegs. Hey, <laughs> hey. Now with these mics, I forgot to let you know. These mics, you kind of gotta be, got okay. okay. And yeah. they adjust. You can move that up so you're not like. Yeah. Right. Fucking old man the whole time. So we got flooded kids in the house, man. Flooded yes, sir. Flooded kids. Thank dude, you for I, having us, dude. Hell yeah. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I found you guys through um, uh, Noah Watson. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, hell yeah. Shell Drive. I thought mm -hmm. it was Mitch. Shout out Noah. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. I'm Shout like, I, like I got with him, right? And you, I've known him for a little while longer, but I'm like, dude, I want to put on a show here in holland but i don't want to do a metal show because that's all i ever do is fucking metal music you know sure. that's my background yeah. but i l always loved like rap hip-hop you know just shit that's fucking sounds good too yeah and <clears throat> i'm like dude this all I, I tried playing it with Noah at first but that date didn't end up working out but he's like sending me he's like well how about these guys these guys you know like let me more in on more of what the local scene's doing in this mm -hmm. type of music yeah you know this sure. kind of like pop hip-hop you know, rap kind of some of it. Some of your like your your guys' songs really intrigue me because they got that. <laughs> it's not like dubstep, but it's like kind of there in the background with some of your their sounds that you guys use. Okay, can you can you see yeah, that? Can yeah, you kind of see what, what I'm mean. saying? Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Especially with, in dirt. that's definitely it's, yeah. I would say that's Nick. Like I feel like that was a lot of that from our producer Nick that did dirt for us, yeah. and he did bounce for us too. The two songs that are yeah. out, mm -hmm. but. I mean, lately, Daniel's been doing all of our producing. Hmm. Taking uh, the reins, so, yeah. Yeah, nice. taking the reins. Nice. <laughs> Trying to. Right, yeah. Yeah, I've only produced him for like a year and a half, but mm. I mean, I've known, He's I've known Corey him. for a while. Uh, Deegs are more new to, honestly. Like, we just became homies really over Flooded Kids, kind of. Yeah. Because, like, we started working, like, mm -hmm. like a year ago. Um, yeah. And yeah, like, right, right when quarantine, I think, happened is when we all kind of like met up through uh, like dead flower through mitch um i met that's how i met uh daniel and then mitch was just kind of like yo uh i know this guy i might be related to him <laughs> yeah yeah he makes some beats i don't know yeah. if beats. Yeah. Yeah. Know this, shout mitch out shout brother. out to dead flower i don't know if you know this oh shit today. yeah i didn't even see your shirt yeah. do you know that mitch is my older brother who mitch He's my older brother. Did he you know is. That? Yeah. What we're the brothers. hell? <laughs> yeah. <we're brothers. laughs> yeah. I'm trying That's to see. I like your shirt. Is it full blood? Uh, half. Half. half? Okay. All right. Yeah. yeah. I was Same calling brother. that. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Blood I got. I can see it. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, blood is blood. A little bit different. Little yeah, thing. no, yeah. I was trying to pack, picture the face. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm looking at. I'm like, the face. All right. For yeah. Sure. No, yeah. He was He was on. He came and crashed uh, Seattle Drive's last one. I saw that. So, yeah, dude, that's crazy. Small yeah. world, dude. Yeah, seriously. Everything's a fucking yeah. small world. But, but yeah, that's, that's how I'm, we all met, like, Daniel. But Corey and I, we've been homies since middle school, I think. Right, Corey? Yeah. yeah. It was early. Way early. Way early. Kicking it. Kicking it. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically they were like, hey, we're doing this thing. And I was like, I want to be a part of this. And I started producing, like, right as quarantine started. Because I just wanted to make music for myself. And then they were like, hey, Flooded Kids is here. And I was like, I heard Dirt. Because Dirt was, like, almost done. And they were like, we made this song. It's super sick. And I was like, okay, cool. But I heard it, and I was like, I want to be on that. And then eventually I ended up on it. And ever since then, we've just been working together, and I've been trying to make beats for these guys because they had this whole thing going, and I just want to keep it rolling. So what's what's with the, the naming of your guys' songs? Why do, you, why do you do it that way? It makes me think it's an acronym. Like, what's, mean, the, what's the, one, the, the one that uh, I put in the video? What's that one called? BNC. Oh, yeah. Bounce. BNC. Yeah. So Bounce. BNC. 
is bounce. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But when I looked at it, I'm like, yeah, right. But I looked at it like, all right, look, flood, look flooded kids. I'm like, I look, I, I read it as BNC. Yeah. I'm like BNC. Okay, what That's the fuck? Is but I get it. <laughs> like, no, I'm not yeah. dumb, but yeah. All right, all right. So bounce. No, that's that's the thing. Is like we're too dumb to make up an acronym. For that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Seriously. No, it's just like the most straightforward thing. Just missing letters. Bounce. No, right. Who are you? Yeah. yeah. We, we didn't Dirt. even like. I don't know. We didn't mean to like make. Cause we didn't think about it ahead of time. Like we just named bounce bounce. I think I think Corey. It was Corey's idea to just kind of be like, yo, let's just put these four letters in it and then dirt we were just like well i don't know that would kind of work too if we took a letter out of that and then we just we, i don't know we didn't even mean to we didn't plan anything yeah no, right kind of yeah. just like a. we should take the o out of bounce and then <laughs> we should take the u out too all Move right that mic up a little bit let's just like i don't know it was just like a fluke thing, and then we just kept running with it, I guess. Yeah. No, I mean, it's definitely your thing now. Because when I, you came out with that new one, I'm like, okay, yep, mm, this the, is all right. The funny thing is, though, all this rest of the songs that we have right now, none of them are like that. None oh, really? Have, none of them <laughs> yeah, are like no, that. really. Yeah. <laughs> like, they all have, like, full names. Full names. Yeah. yeah. Right. And I guess that's kind of just the transition between, like, who was producing it and who, like, we're working with. Because we were working with Nick for those first couple songs, and then now we're working with Daniel. And it kind of just, sometimes it's just, like, whatever he names the beat, we're just like, yeah, let's go. Let's just run with yeah. the name of the song. Right. Yeah, because yeah, we had a another a different member in, like, when both we made both those songs. And yeah. that's kind of how, like, Daniel got in on Dirt is, you know, he wasn't able to record his verse on that, so we kind of had an empty spot. And we were kind of sitting on it, trying to figure out what to do. And um, that's when, like, Daniel came in and was like, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm making beats. And we started recording with him. And then he was like, hey, I see there's an empty spot on dirt. Do you mind if I just lay something down? And I don't uh, think we'd really heard him rap, like, rap <laughs> rap before that. No, I and think And then he just was... came in with that verse on dirt. Yeah. Right. But you, ha- you, you wrote it, right? You yeah, sat yeah, down and you wrote a verse. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you, you can... It's... Yeah, you can sit down and you write it and you can craft it. You can you can rap, but some people just fucking just it's just the sound a lot of for a lot of people. Yeah. Is how do you sound when you start rapping? You yeah. don't rap like how you except you. You kind of you <laughs> you kind of yeah. got how you talk is how how you rap. Like it's you came really, in here like, "Yo." Yeah. I'm like, "Yeah, all right." <laughs> but most oh, people kind of got a different sound when they start rapping. You either kind of go like higher, you're lower, you're, yeah. you lower, you do something mm-hmm. cuz you kind of got you got to get into it a little right. bit. You know what yeah. I mean? 100%. And it's funny that you say that because, like, the when I sent in my vocal tracks for Dirt, like, the ones I had planned on being, like, the main vocals were the ones that ended up being lower. And the low vocal that I, pla- that I thought was going to be, like, mixed lower ended up being, like, the main <laughs> vocal. So, like, when I heard it, I was just like, I didn't what? even know that I sounded like that. Like, right. It's crazy. But it, sounds, it's, it sounded so good. Like, Nick killed that. 100%. Yeah, and you get and you get on a microphone though, you know, everything changes. Oh, like yeah. you, you hear yourself in the microphone and you got the headphones on and it's shit so you recorded. It's so much different than when you're in the fucking car like trying to lay the shit out. You're right. like, "Okay, mm-hmm. this is going to go in the car." You're like, "Fuck, you put the headphones on." You're like, "Damn. Yeah. I'm chief now, yeah. motherfuckers." <laughs> <laughs> Dude, absolutely. Shit, man. Yeah, it's 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 cool though. I, I I'll do the same thing. Like, yeah. I I you know, you write down this game. Do in the mic, like, damn, dude, that mm-hmm. fucking sounds killer for sure. Yeah, so you're making your own beats in house now. You've only been doing it about a year, but you've got parts laid down on dirt, yes, right? Yes, so and we have like how many uh songs you guys got cooked up here, dude? I want to say we have like how many? So we got like are you gonna really we got like eight finished, I think. Eight finished. Are you gonna yeah. release them as singles or are you trying yeah. to go for a whole album? Yeah, we're definitely focusing on singles right now. Hell yeah. Um, yeah. We That's what kinda, you gotta do. We just kinda wanna like I feel like we just wanna like kinda make throw out a couple singles and be like, hey, this is what we're about. Um obviously the first one, Bounce, was very like rappy. Yeah. Uh, dirt was a lot more heavy, uh screams and stuff, and we're trying to like mix that up. So uh, our next track, we're trying to do some more rappy shit so we yeah. can kind of just, like, break it up so we're not just doing the same thing over and over, you know what I mean? Right. So, like, we're trying to just get a good balance between everything. Yeah, balance is good. Yeah. Draw in a wider audience. 
you don't chew shit. 100%. Mm-hmm. Can't just be all the same thing yeah, exactly. all the time. Like it's so boring so fast. Yeah. yeah. That, that can be the problem with some rap and stuff is you just, it's just like, oh, it's repetitive. Yeah. It's so repetitive. And I, yeah. I don't, I don't like, I don't like a lot of the new rap. I mean, some new rap, you got a couple of good bangers and shit that come out from it. But I don't like a lot of it. Yeah. Everything's like based on a cadence, and then everybody copies that cadence, and somebody comes out with a different cadence, and then they do that cadence. Mm-hmm. And it's like, why are you guys stuck on cadences instead of just going with the fucking beat of the song? Right. <laughs> or making a new beat. Like, you know, yeah. like I said, like with you guys, that's what intrigued me. Uh, above all anything else, what intrigues me most with a rap song is the beat. Yeah. Yeah. It's got to have a fire ass beat in order for me to play it in my fucking car. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? <laughs> and we're, I, we're definitely looking for fire ass beats to be recorded on too. So we feel that. Yeah. Like yeah. it's, it's gotta, it's gotta be something like you gotta do the car test. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Car Always. test every time. Always. Every time. <laughs> right. I'll check Always. it on every set of headphones I got, all the monitors, car, everything. Yep. Yeah. That's the best part about like doing in house beats is like we're right there. I mean, Corey and I are right there while Daniel's making it, and then Daniel's yeah. on his song anyway. So if he's like, he lays his first down, and he's like, you know what? It sounds dope if it cut, if the beat cut right here. I had, you know, more drums right here. Like on my verse, right. like we can do it as we're recording. So it's, it's yeah. super nice not having to like get the beat from somebody and then record on it, send it back, and then get it back from them and be like, okay, yeah, it sounds cool. Like working via like email or just sending it back and forth or going to somebody's studio, scheduling the time. It's nice to be able to just like meet up or like, I mean, these guys. Um, I, Corey lives two minutes away from where yeah. Daniel lives. And like, <laughs> like a two minute yeah. walk. Yeah. So like that's where we record too. So like he can just walk over there and just lay down some some music real quick. Yeah, literally we just come over, hang out, maybe throw some ideas together. If not, no biggie. Um, yeah. Like. Yeah, it's nice to be able to craft it. Yeah. And then like yeah, like you said, like you said, you can lay down a verse or something. And be like, all right, well if we did this, and yep. you can just go in, boop boop boop, do mm-hmm. it. Done. It's a very organic feeling yeah. of just being able to just do it continuously instead of having to stop and go. And then you're taking yourself out of that like momentum you had in the studio. And then you're like, well, I got to take this home now. And like, then I right. got to go right to it because we only had an hour and a half of studio time paid for or what, yeah. whatever. So it's like, it's a lot easier to get ideas out and try new things. And like all of our new songs have just like... so. Before, when you were going into the studio, like, and you're paying for that time, were you um, making the beat and then putting your rap or your lyrics on it? Or were you... Sometimes. Or were you just, like, picking through some beats that he had, said, we'll go with this one, and Um, then coming in for your studio time to do your uh, vocals? Kind of. It was all made up on the spot i mean like bounce and dirt both yeah like there was i think dirt we had like he had made the beat while we were there and then me and deegs recorded our parts on it like that same day but normally it was like we'd go there we'd kind of like figure out what we wanted to make make the beat and then we'd take the beat home and we'd go write it and then two three weeks later depending on when we could get back in there we'd go back Okay. All of our so you were paying for studio time to go in to create the beat, and then mm-hmm. you're paying for the studio time to go into yeah, put pretty the much lyrics yeah. down, and then he masters, mixes, masters it, and sends it to you. Mm-hmm. Yep. Which right. Is, yeah. It's also another thing is like we don't have to wait, you know, <laughs> two two three weeks to get the beat back, or like get back in and lay down vocals. Like we can just create the beat, lay it down, or create the beat, sit in it for a few days, come back to it, sit on it, come back to it. Like, it's just so nice having Daniel because before that... Oh, yeah, you got to sit on it. Did you guys want... I don't (laughs) care. If you want your own, that's fine. You want your own? So, honestly, the whole thing is just... We're trying to be cautious, you know? Oh, you're trying to be cautious? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you tested negative, so... Yeah, we did, we did. but... But you're trying to be cautious with me. Not, 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 ah! no, 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 don't take it like that at all, God. seriously. Ah, no, no, yeah, no. I get it, I understand. Yeah. <laughs> Especially since you had just had it scared. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So with that COVID shit. Yeah, so, dude. <laughs> well, do you have a, you, you look, you look like you're feeling all right right now. <laughs> oh, I appreciate that because I am feeling all right. I mean, <laughs> I, like, I didn't have any symptoms or anything, like, 
Um, it was just because uh, we were in close contact with somebody who had it. And um, I just being precautious, I just got tested and it turned out positive. So that was fucking awesome. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, super weird. Yeah, so like I'm, I'm like, I'm about to be cautious as shit. Even even after it's out of my system, I guess I'm like at the show on the seventeenth. I'm gonna be wearing a mask everywhere that's not on stage. Yeah, right. I feel that. Yeah, it's, I think isn't it required anyways? Actually, I think at I think Pyramid Scheme, scheme yeah, it's, really? I think it's it required. Is. Yeah. Is it required now? I think um, yeah. there was a band that we know, a local band that was playing there, and yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone that went had to have their vax cards. <laughs> oh really? And they like went just to vax, that. not negative test. I th- I think that's what it was. Like I think that's what somebody told me, but I guess I'm not really. They might sure. be doing that. Like you have to have proof of a negative test within like the past two or three days or whatever it was. Yeah, um, <laughs> I'm yeah. Sure that's part of it too. So you got to go get you know your rapid or get your right. test done, which you know they're gonna start. I don't know how much that costs for. Each test, right? You know, <coughs> I mean, I think the I, yeah, I would say it's a lot of the rapids lately have been um, have been free. Mm-hmm. I, I I got two I got two different tests from two different spots that I didn't pay for either. Of them. I mean, I haven't paid for any of the tests I had to do too because it was like insurance through work and all that. But mm-hmm. um, I didn't know, you know, once they start once they start doing elective tests, though, that's the thing with that's something to think about is when it's like, oh, well, you want to go to a show, so you need a negative test. You're gonna have to pay for that. Yeah, that's true. You're not here. Yeah, that's, that's true. You're not here for symptoms, or like you might have it. Like that could be free, but if you're wanting to, you know, just go to a concert, you're gonna mm-hmm. start paying for that shit. I can see that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Unless they start coming out with the, uh, you know, like the in-home test kits, like pot. I have some of those actually. <laughs> like I thought I saw for COVID some shit about those um, like recently. Actually, yeah. Uh, when I went to get mine. Uh, I think it was a Walgreens and it like we could we couldn't get rapid tests but you could get the rapid test to take home really yeah That's like weird. they in the drive through or like when you went there you couldn't get the rapid test you had to take like the regular one but you could like I don't know order one or get one to take home which hmm. I was like That's weird. Yeah, I don't know why I would want to take it home and then test and then have to take it back. Yeah. <laughs> right. I know they have, but there's like tons of them out that are like, like, because I mean, the one I had was I got the results like right there on spot and they have, they're not as accurate, but they have tons of those. They could, they, they don't have to fucking charge for it, but they will anyways. You know how it yeah. works. Yeah. yeah. That's the thing about the rapid ones is I always said like they're, uh, they, uh, they're not as accurate. Yeah. For so sure. you don't know, but they use them all at like work and stuff. They use them like not my work, but the, like my wife's work. They use them like the rapid tests and shit. And it's like, well, whatever. Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. But I don't know. I'm I'm I, I'm pretty much fucking fed up with it though at this point. <laughs> like I'm, I'm fucking sick of fucking COVID. I really don't care anymore. I I'll I'll do what I have to do. You know, like yeah, you know, I'll exactly. do like Absolutely. if if I really want to go to a show and they're doing masks, well, I'll do the mask. Yeah. Right. Um. You know, grocery stores and all that hasn't come back with it yet though. But yeah. schools and stuff, it's like. Eh, um. Yeah, I mean, I, the biggest the biggest thing to me with COVID is how much it's divided everybody. No, it's Seriously. crazy how political it got. <laughs> Politicized like, and and d- division. Yeah, just straight line. Whether you got a vaccine or not, like that's what it is now. Yeah. Like if you don't have if you don't have it you're you know you fucking hate people I guess right you know <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> you know seriously like fuck you <laughs> all day uh, I mean it's 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 uh, it's very defeating yeah. to like scroll your fucking Facebook nowadays dude everything's so grim <clears throat> everywhere dude everywhere. like I'll just be scrolling through Instagram I'd be like that's so sad like. <laughs> Keep scrolling. Oh, that's too, man. <laughs> so sad. Like, that's so sad. It's it's, it's it really sucks. <laughs> yeah, it does. I, I I hate it. I just hate how it, it's divided at <coughs> everybody. Yeah. Um, well, um, well, not. I can't say everybody. I mean, because me myself, I really don't care whether you got it or not. Right. You know what I mean? As that's that's me though. Like I'm a very like 
pro-choice person. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. You know, like that fucking uh, Texas abortion law. You guys hear that yet? Yeah, I've heard a little, very, <coughs> little bit about it, but... <coughs> you heard of that, John? <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Shit is yeah, fucked dude. straight they're, up. They're going, like, straight fucking backwards in Texas, I think. Yeah. <coughs> like... Backwards. So it's within... Have you heard of that? Uh, no. No. So this Texas abortion law is basically you have up until six weeks pregnant to abort your baby as soon as they have a sign of a heartbeat. And there's no exceptions for incest or rape. And most women don't even know they're pregnant at six weeks. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. (laughs) Staying away from Texas. And and basically... (laughs) It basically got uh, passed because um, the federal government kind of fucking just drug their fucking feet. It was like a five to four undecided or un uh, uh, was it uh, unofficial vote or something like that. Yeah, so it's like it just it's passed now. Yeah, <laughs> damn. Um, where are we going, guys? Like what the fuck? <laughs> like I, know, I, I'm be... very pro-choice. Like I said, I, I think if you want an abortion, you should be able to fucking get an abortion. I'm, like that's yeah. none of my fucking business. Like no. you, you, your life could be fucked at the moment. And I always said, if you are in no shape to be able to take care of yourself, mostly, yeah. there is no reason bringing another baby into this fucking no, world definitely. to go through that with you. And, and if it's early on enough. It's the way I look at things. It's if it's early on enough, fucking do it. There comes a point, though, where it's like, yo, you probably shouldn't do that now. But that's always very, like, arbitrary argument. It's, like, very, you know, like, random at when you can stop having yeah. an abortion. But, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't, I'd say, I, I say, that's that's your fucking choice. That ain't none of my fucking business. Yeah, man, that's... What the fuck you do? If you want to smoke crack, go smoke crack. I don't that's care. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I, like, I don't care what you do. I don't, yeah, as long as... Yeah, do your thing, dude. As long as you ain't harming no one. Yeah, matter. like, if you go to like, work every day and then you go home and smoke crack, like, but then you get up and you go to work, like... As long as that's you get your, your job that, done, bro. Yeah, your as long as you get your job done. Light it up, bro. <laughs> light it up. <laughs> like, you dude. can go on break time, bitch. I don't care as long as you're back in 15 and you're fucking helping me. Right. <laughs> Shit. It doesn't matter. That's why I like my my job being a janitor. I'm just, I'm just like, I'm solo. Like, I ain't got oh, yeah. nobody to rely mm-hmm. on. Yeah, it's yeah you can wear headphones all day. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Bugged by anybody. Yeah. Bro, yeah. headphones are so clutch. Dude. Oh, I still get bugged by people. Don't fucking get me mm. wrong. I, know I, am the, <laughs> I am the fucking one cleaning shit. No, I gotta go over here. <laughs> or you got like the once every three month fucking trucker that comes in and takes a shit on the floor in uh, the back shipping bathroom, dude. Oh, dude. Jesus Christ. Yeah. What the like, fuck is up with that? How do you do that? that? How? Yeah. Do you do how? That? how? Why? How? Why? I under, I've never like understood. Clear it. ass <laughs> log on the fucking floor, bro. And like it's like six inches the other way. Like I don't. Yeah. Like I. I understand. Like maybe you want to hover over the toilet. You just want to like. You don't want to touch the toilet. You like, can't tell me it's they're that far off, right? <laughs> That's what I mean. But you're not that far off. No. Like you be. You're terrible, bro. You're terrible. And it's got to be a trucker. I just chalk it up to a trucker because I'm like, there ain't nobody in this motherfucking factory is going to go take a shit on the floor and walk out. <laughs> no, really? Like, really? At yeah. your work, bro? Right. Yeah, like in your place of employment? No. <laughs> oh, man. Because what if somebody walks in after you? <laughs> You're going to sit there and say, like, yeah, I took a shit next to that log. I don't know who did that, but I ain't picking it up. Dude, imagine and- <laughs> walking in on that. Right. Just like walking uh, in some dude taking a shit on the floor. Bro. bro I'm turning around. So <laughs> we had a problem because there was like some some uh so there were some Asian people that were working there that were like clearly like Asian. Like they have been living in America all their lives. And what a lot of the people do over there in the poor or rural areas or whatever is they like they have to hover over a hole to shit. Okay. So what yeah. we had a problem was, was they were like standing on top of the toilet seat and like hovering to take a shit. So like there was always like mud or like boot prints and shit on the fucking mm. toilet seats. <laughs> like who is standing that's on these what, toilets? Dude, that's that, weird. Yeah. Now that's what was told to me. So, okay. you know, this is before I started because I, well, it was right as I was starting because I asked, I said, why is it that when I'm going into these bathrooms, there's like boot prints on these toilet seats? And so that's what was told to me. 
And they were still kind of like dealing with that issue. Cause yeah. How do you deal with that issue? Yeah. You know? Oh, I'm sorry. You, you, you people can't stand on the yeah, toilet. Yeah. That's yeah. They'd that's be like, what? Subject. Why are you blaming me? Cause like you ain't got cameras in there. Like, right. Don't nobody know. But wouldn't that be weird though? You're going up to the fucking stall because you don't see no feet there, and you're like trying to get in. There's some dude like standing on the toilet. Right? No, really. <laughs> dude, like, like, you think someone's hiding in there? Like, no, just using the bathroom. Yeah, dude. Because that's what I always look for. Like, as soon as I walk in, I'm like, shoes. All right, fuck. I'm Is taking a shit in here. Yeah. Will again, you take I'm a shit? Will you? T- All right, pull. Will you take a shit? In the bathroom, if there's two stalls, if somebody else is already shitting, do you or do you just wait or like walk out, or do you just say fuck it, I'm going to the other stall, I'm blowing it up? Well, are you at your, are you at work or are you just at like a public <laughs> rent, like a Target restroom? That's a at work. Question. A work at work? Yeah, at work. Oh, for sure, I'm going to that work. I probably know <laughs> the dude next to me. I'll play footsie with. Him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so not anywhere else though. When it's somebody dude, you I don't you don't know and you'll probably never see again. I don't shit anywhere else besides home and work. Like I will, oh, like, if I yeah. like, I chug like three Starbucks coffees and I'm like at Walmart or something. I'll, I'd rather shit myself than shit in that Walmart. Oh yeah, <laughs> true. Honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you had to bring up Walmart, bro. <laughs> 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 yeah, dude. Uh, yeah. Oh my god. I'm not shitting at Walmart either, no, bro. I worked at a fucking Walmart, pushing carts, and then worked in the back room on third shift. Mm-hmm. Oh man, fucking terrible job that, it, that, that technically was work for you so that doesn't count we can't use that as an example <laughs> ah, <laughs> uh, yeah how about you what? at work just you taking a shit next one at work so like my work only has one bathroom it's my job only has one bathroom so like Ooh. Honestly, it's not that bad. So it's a single like, stall. Yeah, it's That's a single all. stall. You have so no I worries. Worry about yeah, I got exactly. no worries. Like my job is super. Give sick. him a buzzer. Hit yeah. the buzzer. Can I get a buzzer. Yeah, hit the bu- fucking buzzer, John. <laughs> oh, that's the fail. Uh, so we got to get the fail. Uh, all right, how about right, you? That's fine. You taking um, the shit next to him, or you fucking like? I'll go to a different bathroom, or I'll wait. Honestly, it depends on the day, I guess. But really, the I'm day? probably just. I'm probably just, just going, going there and with drop it. a deuce. Yeah, because it's like. Hey, we're both doing the same thing. Yeah, we both doing. The but same, I yeah. can't, like, I can't yeah. be mad. You can't be mad. And sometimes, actually, at a place I used to work at, they had just single, like, single bathrooms, and they had a light up above, so you could tell when someone was in there. Ah. So I'd just go in, like, yeah. and just sneak in those once in a while. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, I always go up to like the front office. This is a boop. That's why I'm, <laughs> I'm taking. I'm taking a. Shit, where the executive shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm the fucking yeah, jam. Was- Ain't nobody questioning why the fuck I'm up there. <laughs> right. You're like, I gotta clean it anyway. Right? Might you as well. Okay, when the place I used to work had like a like a a bathroom, like a full size bathroom that only had one toilet, so you could like walk in there and you had like a full size bathroom. Oh And shit. lock the door. All the it wasn't a stall. It was like a literally like a full size bathroom. Just right. One yeah. toilet in it. Hell yeah. That was like. That was like how king shit at work. It's like, ha, <laughs> you walk in, it's like, ha. Right. Yeah, let me get on my phone for a minute right. while I'm pooping. Yeah, dude, Put you got to get paid in. to poop, dude. I will. I refuse to fucking poop before work. 100%. <laughs> and if I feel like, I even feel like I have to go before I'm about to leave, I'll go poop. Yeah. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, yeah even if sure. it's like a minute to punch out, I'll be like, I'll get like 10 minutes, maybe right. a fucking extra time today. <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, stayed, dude. So I know I cleaned it, too. In. I'm like, I'll go to the one that just cleaned. <laughs> There's fucking people at work, too. I bet you guys probably done it, too. If you had a uh, custodian there, like, they're fucking... I'll be walking. They'll be eyeing me up. They're like, oh, shit, he just cleaned that motherfucker. I'm going in there. I'm going to take <laughs> shit now. <laughs> <laughs> they had the clean yeah. times on the walls in the bathrooms. It was so oh, the they clean had the clean times, times. so oh, we knew so you when they knew. were getting cleaned. Yeah, when they were getting, oh, them they kept mm. the motherfuckers right on a schedule, man. Oh shit, I'd hate <laughs> to work be, there. I'd hate to work that'd there. That'd be nice though. That'd be nice because like I hate it when I'm like I feel so bad when I'm in there taking a shit and the janitor comes in and starts mopping and I'm like I either gotta walk why the, the water fuck or just does he come in here. and mop while you're taking a shit? <laughs> Well, because I, that, how many stalls are in there? How many stalls are in this place? That was my old job. There was okay. How many stalls? 
there four was stalls. four stalls. Yeah, and there's some, yeah. You were taking a shit. He just come in and start mopping. It, and it was random times of the day, too. Because I remember when I first started working there, <laughs> like a month after I started working there, I like I was like, all right, he comes in at like 9, 9 10 yeah, in the morning. Right. Me. You timed like, right, it cool, out, I won't, go, I won't go in there then. And then like, <laughs> but then as I started working there longer, he would just come in randomly, like any time of the day. And I don't know if he was following me, but if like every time I took a shit, he came in like five minutes after and was like, starting him up. <laughs> yeah. Starting him up. <laughs> Here's, here's another poll. Here's another poll. If that happens, you're, you're in the bathroom and the janitor comes in and start mopping. Do you pinch it off, get up and leave, potentially walking through his water, or do you just wait oh, till he's done mopping? Oh no, you then, no you. If if you're if you're actively like already sitting down to take a <laughs> shit, like he, he comes in, it's like bro, it's here first. <laughs> that's why like when i go in to do my job you know i go in and i, I guess you know in all fairness at the at my job the max is two stalls and two urinals so okay. it's not four stalls that seems like a bit bigger bathroom he probably goes in there just to mop at least just to clean up the floor is what i'm assuming he's got a mop schedule yeah. he just goes in there and mops it up because it gets dirty fast no this was this was full clean of bathroom bro he would he would start <laughs> oh <laughs> fuck no, <laughs> dude, yeah, yeah, no hold on john john hold on, hold on. time out time out john can you turn the desktop volume down just a little bit i i think he's just looking Right there. No, go back. <laughs> Is this as cable management, dude? Is dude, this, this cable, uh, cable management. First time. All right. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. No, you're good. Are you good? We're gonna talk about cable management. Right yeah, let's yeah, just let's start plug for dude, cable management. This entire day right, so has been cable, cable management. K KM Records. KM. Anything? Wait, what's AM? KM. 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 Oh, I thought you said AM. No. no. All right, continue. All right. All right. Oh, wait. You forgot where you were at, huh? I don't know where we're at. The janitor, yeah. janitor, he'd come oh, in there, he'd full, full on fucking cleaning. full on yeah. clean, dude. How you fucking full on, full on clean, clean when somebody's taking a shit, bro? I can't do that. Like at least like like put up, put like go in there, see somebody's in there, put up like a sign on the door that says "closed for cleaning." Wait till that dude's done. Yes. And then start. Mom. Yes. You want to know why? Because there was motherfuckers, dude. I I res specifically requested the closed sign because all I had was wet floor signs. I'm like, bro, there's motherfuckers. Walking in here while I'm trying to clean. I'm like actively cleaning the sink and shit. And they walk in and try to take a shit. I'm like, oh, fuck no way. that. Yes. No way. Yes. That's just rude. That is just rude, man. I was here first. At least let me. Finish. Exactly. I was here first. <laughs> like, you know, you got, I got this fucking guy at work, dude. He's like fucking Luigi. You know, he comes up. He's like, hey, can I take a pee? So I'm like, hey. <laughs> I'm like, can I? He's like, my friend, can I take a piece? And I'm like, my friend, I'm cleaning. <laughs> but dude, but then sometimes he'd be looking at me with that Luigi sad face and shit. Like, can I take a piece? And I'm like, oh shit, all right, fuck it, just come on. I haven't started the floor yet, so you're, right. you know, there's you know, there's a certain time. If I'm on the floor. It's off limits. Yeah. Yeah. Because now you're gonna fuck that all up. You're gonna yeah. give. You're not gonna give me. The 30 seconds of fucking dry time I did have before the next fuck walks up, and he's like, Oh, I'm gonna piss. So he just walks, you know, they always do, they always look. I'm describing you guys. Like, they always fucking, yeah. um, they always look at the sign too, and they look at the floor, they're like, Oh, fuck it, I gotta go anyways. <laughs> like, I'm not walking four, three to four hundred feet to the next one. Mm. No. Honestly, I've never walked in on a janitor like that. No? I yeah? Can't, no, I can't do that. Well, what about the know. floor, though? What about the floor sign? That's that's what I'm describing. What Just I like said a wet floor sign out there? Yeah, and it's, yeah. it's still wet. It's still kind of wet. You, you're, you go in. I think that's a game time decision. Game where it's time. Just like where you're like, where I'm are there, you at? I got it. Like, do I really have to do this? Were you not? already relaxing before right. you got to the restroom? You're like, all right, I'm right. right here. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Ooh, you gotta go for it. Yeah, if it's really that bad, I mean, yeah, I've never done it, but it could it could get that bad, I guess. It could, <laughs> very fast. Yeah, and I always feel like honestly, I always feel bad. Like, like if I it? see the wet floor, I'm like, mm, and it's like, yeah. I don't know where else to go, but I really have to go because right. I got like a thirty minute drive home, and I'm yeah. like, damn, but. 
Well, first of all, know. why is that fuck cleaning it right before you get out of work? True. <laughs> That's fair. True. You know, don't fucking clean the bathroom right before you know, shift change. Yeah, you know everyone's coming out of here. Yeah. Why are you making yeah, the Why are you wet? mopping right before everybody's leaving? True. Like, dude, come on, man. Like, up your game. <laughs> up your mental get capabilities. Here get, get here <laughs> earlier. <laughs> No, you're surrounded. Like, I'll walk into work. Like, I'll be like, like last week or whatever it was, and it was fucking hell on earth. Like, just muggier than fuck. Mm. I was like, uh, I just, well, some of the days I just said, fuck the battle because it, it's going to take forever to dry. You know, all that moisture and shit in there. Just, it'd be like a half hour of shit, so it'd be wet. But yeah, yeah, you got to time that shit out. You got to learn your job. Just like any fucking job. You got to learn your fucking job and learn how to fucking, you know. Move around. Work yeah, the, yeah, the least cool. amount of possible. <laughs> <laughs> Work smarter, not harder. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, so, I, but yeah, I could never do, I could never do factory work. Fact, fa I can't do factory work. You guys work factories, I'm assuming? Yeah. What, yeah, yeah well, well, we won't say where, but like how, like just, how do you do it, man? How, do you, do you do a repetitive thing? Or is it like... Yeah, I guess you did... So We worked at the same place, but yeah. did different shit. So, right. Yeah, I, I have... I, I really like my job right now, actually. Okay. Like, it's really Well, it's cool. good. I, yeah. I like my job, too. Like, I kind of... It's not... I can still bitch about it. Though. Like, I do the same things <laughs> every day, obviously, but, like, it's very, like, kind of pace, and I can just do my thing, and I know what needs to get done, and we have, like, this amount of time to get these things done. So you got, like, a quota. Kind of, yeah. We got just got to like a schedule for the day that we have to get done. And like, you gotta get this many pieces get, done. Yeah. Man. Sometimes we get done early and it's just like, all right, well, we'll get to go chill home. as long as we can and we'll go home. And sometimes we're there like 15 minutes late and we yeah. have to come in on like a Saturday, but that's what people listening to that right now are like, ooh, <laughs> 15 minutes late. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I thought. No. Uh, oh, try, yeah. try working. Try working 15 hours a day. Right. You know, and mm. fucks out there. You're like, yeah. fuck you. I don't want to work 15 hours a no. day. Yeah. It's actually super <laughs> sick. I love it there, actually. So, but repetitive, though? Yes. Like, I do the same things, but it's like... Well, everything is repetitive to a point, yeah. but I can't, like, stand, like, an like, like assembly moving. line. Like, I'm moving a lot throughout like, the day. fucking assembly which line, Which is the bro. big thing for me. Like, I can't just, like, sit there and, like, sit and do something yeah. or just stand and do one thing. Like, I get to, like, move and shit, and that's... Dude, that's I went to Hayworth, and they yeah. tried having me go to, like, one of the presses, and they're like, dude, all you gotta do is, like, press down on this, and then it yeah. bends the part. Exactly. And then you yeah, just I, stand I there that. and do that. I I'm can't like, do that. Fuck, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I got to do this for fucking 12 hours? All right. Get some no, that, calves then. Yeah. yeah, you would. You would, but still, like, calves, bro. like, there's no amount of podcasts and radio and shit that was going to get me through that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you got to just like, yeah, you can have a radio. I'm like, oh, cool. And so, like, fucking second weekend, it fell on the floor and broke. And then I'm mm. like, now I can't do this. Right. And I'm too poor. <laughs> That's the only reason I lasted so long in a factory, which was because I could have my phone and like listen yeah. to music and podcasts and like, because no, it was the repet same repetitive thing every single day, doing the same thing, building the same parts. Doing Did you it, like, like move around or were you like in the same spot? There was like anywhere from like three to seven stations on an like an assembly line so like we got to rotate through some of those like every like, 20 minutes or something or like every that. two hours every hour oh. depending on, it kind of depended on where you were at and who was like you were working with and all that but like no see i had to do like the fast ones. i worked at like a door like the glass door like they put the glass inside doors and windows and shit okay and you're on a line you know eat one person would put, set it in the other person put the top on the other person did you know like broke it down mm -hmm. but that was like every 20 minutes so it was like okay 20 minutes boom move to the next one and it like kept going so like that was all right but i still hated the fact that it was just this do -do 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 -do. Yeah. like i'm on this line i can see the end like this is where i'm at i don't like that oh uh, yeah i could almost do it in my like i just would like dream about my arms moving like that like it was <laughs> nuts <laughs> yeah shout out to the shout out to the fucking factory workers that do that shit though yeah. i mean because you guys keep fucking america running straight up making america great again straight 15 up. 25 <laughs> years yeah that like shit. i think you can just like make like video content with that type of stuff it's just like oh, okay 
Yeah. Hey, it takes 60 podcasts before your daughter walks in like, hey, what's going on? (laughs) (laughs) I mean, she she knows all about podcasts and stuff. Like, she helps me. Like, I'll literally, like, I'll be like, why don't you sit in that chair while I'm, like, trying to fix stuff Mm -hmm. or whatever? Yeah, dude, it's pretty cool. She loves it. Oh, She's yeah. like, oh, you do, so you're doing a podcast? Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Do I need to help you with anything? <laughs> <laughs> right? That's cool. Hell yeah. You know, might as well, like, incorporate them as much right. as I can. So they're like, yeah, 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 it's cool. Right. No, I'm, honestly, like, I don't know. I wish I would have heard myself in a microphone before I did the first time. Like, it would have helped so much, I feel like. Yeah. Just, like, because... I don't know. It was just really weird for me to like hear my voice back when I would start recording. So I was just like, I don't know, yeah. like I live could. in the headphones or when you listen to the track. Back. Well, both, both, but. really. Like, yeah, just like the monitoring while I was recording. Yeah, I was like, whoa, this is. It almost threw me off, and like, I, it was like I was hearing double. I don't know. It was weird. So I, just being able to do that earlier, I feel like would have like helped out. Yeah. No, I would. Like, you just get your, to know all your voice through a microphone. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, and it's, I don't know. I feel it's like different. It's crazy how different, like, a voice and a microphone is. Yeah, so it's like, different. Like, when we're recording music and shit, it's just weird to me. Yeah, you, get, you like, can manipulate it, yeah. you know, however you want to do. You can look up at the mic and you can make it sound like a little different. You know, mm-hmm. just anything that you want to do, really, especially for the recording process. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. That, that was, like, huge, huge for me. Like when I, I mean, I've always been into music, but like when I really started recording and figuring out that like your voice sounds different, you know, you can change it and shit. It was like when you would watch interviews with artists that you listen to a lot and their voice sounded nothing like what they do in the recording. Right. Like the dudes have like kind of deeper voices when they're just talking and hanging out and then like you listen to their music and it's, it's like they're, they're high pitch or they're a different tone of some, some shit like that. That's like they add character to the voice to make it more exciting to listen to. Like you said, like flow and, you know, it's more about the sound than it is the, you know, the rhymes sometimes. Mm. And so it's like when those dudes have the voice there, it's just like, this sounds cool. I don't know what the fuck he's saying, but this sounds cool. It's like most of those dudes, if you watch an interview, their voice is totally different. And that like helped me like trying to figure out like where I'm going to go with my voice. And I'm still trying to figure it out because we are always experimenting. Like we, we like I don't know. We don't really call ourselves a rap group because, like, we don't just rap. I mean, like, rap is definitely like the heavy-handed thing for us. Yeah, but it's like we do a lot of shit, so there's a lot of voice experimenting in what we're doing. Yeah, it was it's it was uh, it was one of those things where I was like putting the show together with with you guys and Dead Flower, and then you know we have Biffy the Beat Slayer coming from Muskegon, John Penman from Detroit, oh, you know, yeah. Little Vanity. I'm like, and I'm just sitting here. I'm like. How do I classify this show? It's you know, is it, <laughs> yeah, like you, know, like you guys too, like you yeah, know, differences absolutely. in songs and stuff. Is is it rap? Is it pop? I, I just say like pop, hip hop, like you know, it's because pop to me is popular. It's not yeah. just you think pop, yeah, you think Britney true. Spears, in sync, Backstreet Boys, but it's really but just the popular music, popular music, mm-hmm. pop. So this is like something that can be popular. And it's kind of hip hop based. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, like you're going. That's what you're going for. You guys yeah. aren't going for yeah. like, oh, we're black metal. We don't want anybody to like our shit. <laughs> Fuck you. No, you yeah. want everybody to like it. Yeah, mm-hmm. you want this shit playing on the fucking radio, right? Yeah, I mean, you want it to be I mean, popular. I mean, fuck you want yeah. it to be like everybody's fucking banging out to this stuff. Doesn't matter if you're some you know twelve year old kid or fifty year old mom. Like you want. Know, People are like bouncing to it. Yeah, bounce. No. Yeah, bounce. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be in the back. Mm. So, yeah. So, so with that, with that though, with that though, fuck it. Let's just, let's play. Let's let's play a little bit of the fucking. Oh, let's play shit. a little bit of this. We we got a teaser track, right? Oh, shit. Do, we do, got do a one was it? It's Ranger. Oh shit. <laughs> so we. we okay, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, this is the one. Oh, nobody else knew. Time. Nobody else no, knew about knew. this. They oh, know. okay. They know. <laughs> <laughs> they know. We had like we had like three songs. Like, like so, all you have to do, hold on. All you have to do, John, is press the uh, second key, the MPM. Yep. Or after yeah. he after he speaks. We were like we were like we have three songs. We fuck really heavy with all these songs. We don't know which one to pick. So that's why we were just like I don't know which one we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> but this one's like, it's like uh, this is our more hip hop song that we were talking about how we're just trying to you know like release you know whatever the fuck. Um, 
you know, we're not trying to get stuck in a certain box of what type of music we are. Right. So we're just trying to keep people on their toes with what we release. Um, so this is, I think for now, <laughs> our plan is to release this on the 17th, right? Yeah, that's yeah. the plan. The 17th yeah, of this month? Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah all right. Cool. Also, that's yeah. the same day we're playing the Pyramid Scheme. Yeah. Ooh, so, all right. Yeah. Song drops yeah. and you're playing a show. Doors you obviously eight. play that song at the yeah. show. And that's going to be a fire yeah. show. Yeah, we, we played it so at Turnstiles at our last show. Mm -hmm. and, like, I mean, every, it's like people are going crazy for a lot of our songs. That one, I don't know. That's like my personal favorite. Like, before so, we even performed a live, I was like, I'm going to fuck with this super hard when we perform yeah. a live. It's going to be so dope. So, have you, is, have, is that what you guys announced? Is the seventeenth for this drop? We haven't, like, we haven't even announced it yet. Just we just did. I mean, okay. we just yeah, I guess okay. it, yeah, <laughs> that was the announcement. Do it the sixteenth. Yeah. I say 16th? do it the sixteenth. Think so? Yeah. Give the day before give, the show. Yeah, give it a whole day for everybody to fucking see the song and then be like, all right, let's come out for it. Let's, I want to well, I mean, hear. It. I guess like, you think we, that we're gonna no? drop it at, at mid at midnight on like. But then so they gotta the decide hour. that day. You know, people. Oh well, <laughs> we were gonna do this after I got out of work today. I don't know. Plans. Come to our show, right? right now, I don't yeah, even hear the song. Come fucking, to our show right now. Shit Listen don't fucking work. Come to the show. Yeah, no, and I guess we were trying to do this whole like flooded Fridays thing. Oh, so I that's like what it. we we've been releasing like every it. song, I and like it also it. just so right. happened that the All last right. Friday was Friday. All right, I get it. I yeah. yeah Stick yeah. with that. But that's it, cool. It does get dropped at twelve a.m. Did you guys say anything about flooded Fridays yet? No. Nope. All right, it's a no. thing. It's yeah, a thing. Really like Flooded like, Fridays. Like, they're starting it now. Like, we got there a lot was of like the ideas. For Flooded Fridays. Yeah. yeah. There was like the kickoff for, for Flooded Fridays, and then we're just kind of like all the singles we have right now because what we have like eight or I don't know if you're including that beat that we just <laughs> that we're gonna that yeah. we're gonna lay down on. I think we have like nine or so songs, and we're just gonna kind of release those. Try to do like maybe every Friday or once uh, one Friday a month or something. And then um, get into album mode or EP mode and fucking just crank down and make an EP and release that. But all the songs we have now, we just kind of plan to release as singles. All right. Well, without further, 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 without further ado, we'll give the teaser mm -hmm. to the song Granger. I can't wait yeah. to hear this. Yeah. No, no, that is definitely not it. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> That is definitely not flooded kids. It's the second key on the on the board. MPM. Oh, hit the stop button. Okay, let me check it out. Without further ado, I want to check it out. I can't. I can't hear anything that's coming through the headphones, so I have no idea what the fuck just played. Oh yeah, it, it, was it wasn't really, us. It was pretty quiet, but it was. That's funky. Oh, hey, there, there we go. Can you hear it? No. All right, Ranger's playing right now. Oh, I'm sorry. We didn't figure that out pre. Shooting across the grid like I'm Kevin Flynn. I don't fuck with drugs, but I've been dabbling. Give a fuck about a critic or what they have to say. Coming from the 90s, but the kids don't play. Leader of the free world, middle name Hussein. Run up on the click, you get hit. Got to breathe the apparatus like Bane. So much acid to the brain, feel like I'm insane in the membrane since the 10th grade. Yeah, bitch, I've been paid, tiptoeing in my J's. Got a bad bitch with Rihanna hair, pond a replay. Flooded cock, cobra kiss, skeleton suit. Coming from the dirt, ain't got nothing to prove. Bust you in your head, ain't got nothing to lose. Colonel Mustard with the candlestick, get the clue. Got a bottle full of weed in a sack full of booze. Eight days in the flooded kid shade. Yeah, I bet you caught the blues. Newbies on my feet, here flyers of the shoes. Forecast is flooded in case you miss the news. When we pull up, everybody saying, oh shit, hopping out of All right. the range. We hit the stop, play. John. When the beat drop, <laughs> shit be so lit. All the kids. There we go. Oh, yeah, dude. Mm. Yeah, now you got to tune in on fucking the 17th for the rest of the verses. Mm. Yes, sir. <laughs> now, now, here's what I'll say. I got to listen to the full track. Okay, yeah. And nobody's going to know what the fuck I'm talking about right now. <laughs> but I got, I'm going to say it right now. Is that hook that's at the end? That, who, okay, who yeah, is it? That's, is it, that's, that's you. Yeah, that's that's you. you. That needs to be a chorus. Needs to be a chorus? Yes. I think so? Yes. I think you, since you can do it yourselves, I think you need to put that in between these guys and then 
even if you just did that, boom, fucking major success because that last part is good as fuck. I mean, you know, <clears throat> when I listened to it, I was like, this sounds like it's going to be the chorus. Right. But then it ends. And you're like, fuck. I was waiting for another verse. Seriously. Honestly? Seriously. Okay. So. Seriously. Yeah, I mean. It sounds yeah, like, it sounds like a chorus. Yeah, I respect that for sure. I guess like, yeah, it's definitely singing for sure. Um, I guess just our whole thing is we don't want to make stuff. It's going like, to make, I mean, you leave it that way. It you might be I like mean? one of those things where it makes you want to listen to it again oh, and yeah, again. Sure. But I think it sounds like a nice, it's like a, it's like got a hook to it. It's just like, okay. And then it ends and you're like, all right, for more. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. But, <clears throat> you know. That's me. Yeah, you yeah. guys can take that and sit on it. And... You got to leave him a lot I mean, more. That's, that's I mean, yeah. yeah, that's what I... That's, that's like, yeah. Yeah. That's what, like, I think Daniel was saying it about structure, right? Is that what you're saying, Daniel? Yeah. Pretty much, like... like yeah, I guess just... We're not trying to make songs with, like, a certain structure, I guess. Right. Like, no, I get are, that. I don't want... Your songs are, like, how you want them. Verse, hook, verse, hook. Yeah. Bridge, whatever. Yeah. Right. Every other yeah. song is. So we that just kind of... We're just... And really, so also a big part of it is when we're recording, when we finish the beat and we go in there to record it, it's literally just whoever has the first idea. They go, they record it. Uh, next person, if they have some, they're like, let me go in on that. We're like, all right, do it. And then yeah. it ends up like that. And then that's just how it is. Yeah. Dude. And yeah. we just pretty much leave it. Like, <clears throat> we record like one song. We'll, we'll, we'll sit down and record the song in one night. And that'll be it. Yeah. That's how the song is. Right. Well, I like how you guys, like, shout out Flooded Kids, you know, in the songs and stuff, too. Like, you know, it's like, it's it's just more branding. Just, you there's know, a, yeah, if you a, can fit it in slyly, I mean, it's not just like one of those things where the beat's kicking. It's like, Flooded Kids. Right. You know, <laughs> I don't know, if you know that's, that's, you know. No, uh, really. I don't know if you noticed, but there's also a Dead Flower uh, shout out in there. Oh. Oh, yeah. The, the last... Part the pre-chorus. Of, yeah, the last part of my verse, or the last part of the pre-chorus, is uh, all the kids are sinning while it's flooding. Ah. Yeah. Their song. There was another shout-out or something like that. And uh, was there a Dead Flower that did it in that song? Or was that? I was Dead, Dead Flower, Flower says... Dead Flower says flooded kids oh, yeah. in one of their songs. Yeah, they say I'm a flooded kid for life. A flooded kid for life. Now, is that a shout out to you guys, right? Yeah. 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 All right, yeah. So, <clears throat> essentially, so Mitch is essentially a part of flooded kids. Okay. Really, what flooded kids is, is it's just like a collective of people. Like, we're mm -hmm. obviously the main guys in the group rapping or whatever. Yeah. But then, um, like, Mitch... We'll like print our merch, and if he like likes a beat, he'll be like, "Hey, I want to be on that." We're like, "All right, hop on it." Yeah. And we have like a couple other homies, like in Dirt. Our homie Caleb was on that, and his verses fire. Um, we have some more tracks coming out with some other verses on it, and those are also super fire. So we're excited for those. But yeah, we're yeah. kind of just trying to like, yeah, we work with people. You know what I mean? Be more of a collective rather than like actually just. Like, this is just our group. Yeah. Right. Like, yeah. Yeah. bring on, have more producers <clears throat> and more vocalists and, I don't know, even get people that live drum, play guitars yeah. for, like, live shows and all that stuff. Okay, too. right. Yeah. Turn yeah. it. It's a kind of, like, we, we have, like, an open door policy with features. It's, like, we aren't going to we aren't gonna say, you know, Flutter Kids featuring this or that really anymore. It's going to be just Flutter Kids, and there could be... Two of us, three of us, or six of us on the song. And, I mean, like, unless the artist specifically requests it, we're not going to put featured because it's just, like, we're a collective. Like, once you feature with us or once you hop on a song with us, you can come in whenever you want. Okay. And, it's like, and along with that, not just music, like, we do that, like how Daniel was saying with Mitch, you know, um, it, like, handling our merch. Like, we have, like, a clothing brand that's part of, like, Flooded Kids. So it's not just music. It's clothing. It's videos it's um anything you can think of anything under the sun you know what i mean yeah we got a lot of ideas yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. a lot of things we're, a lot of, a lot of things we're working on so when did you guys start this okay so <laughs> i don't know this goes kind of deep uh recent <laughs> like 
a few years after I graduated from high school, I got in touch with a couple of kids that I went to high school with, that me and Deegs went to high school with, mm -hmm. and they were making music. They heard I took pictures and like videos and stuff like that. They were like, hey, could you come take a video? I was like, yeah, sure. Ended up, we started making more music. I started getting on music. And then, it I don't know, like things fell out, other things happened. Then it morphed into like me, him, and then our other friend who was on Bounce. And then now it's like us three. So it's like, yeah. I don't know, it took like a long time to get to like where we are now. But it's like, I don't know. So yeah, like, like I, I'd say, like if you if you want to say like when did when did the idea start type of thing? It's like I started with Corey and them like fuck I don't know like eight years ago seven years ago. Okay. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. I but then think it's of how like long it was. But then those are almost in our heads. Those are separate projects. It's kind of been like a different a, a different time slot. You know what I mean? Like you know you were in this for a little oh, bit and then stuff happened oh, and progressed appreciate it so it's like um i say like flooded kids like how we're what we're doing now like this has been progressively like we've been getting good traction and like i guess success for our level for about a year now about know? a year so now so it's like so when was yeah, your, like your first four, show our first show was August 20th. That was yeah. our first live show. Yeah. August 20th of this yeah. year. Yep. Mm -hmm. And this then, year, yeah. yeah, what, it, like, a, it was like a year before that, that we start, like, we really started, like, just. Yeah. Like, working. cranking out, really, working yeah. songs mm -hmm. and stuff. Like, the, yeah. the first yeah. time we kind of, we just, like, would just go meet up in what is now my garage, and we'd be like, I just, I just kind of showed them some beats that I had. And they were like, those are cool. You try to record on them. Right. So I was like, all right, I'll record you on them. And then we started <laughs> recording. And we were like, dude, these are sick. And that was just what we did every Tuesday. We just show right. up and we'd like record to a song or a beat or something or at least come up with an idea. And then it kind of just like kept going and going and going. And so it's here now. So the other guy that you we're talking about here, he so you guys never played a show together with the other well, guy. Well, and then so I played like this weird little like yeah. i don't know it it was like this competition tour thing but it was more of just like hey do you guys want to go like yeah like an open mic thing we were mm -hmm. just like oh yeah let's go rap on a stage like why not okay but uh like i performed with him then but the three of us have never performed together other okay. than August twentieth. So what? So what? What did he? He just was like, I don't I just don't want to do it no more type of thing. Yeah, I mean, didn't really play like, a show. Yeah, yeah just, I mean, just, yeah, just just really, yeah. Happen, I don't yeah. know. It, yeah, and and I mean, like he 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 had some like it was, it was a big personal thing with him. Um, but that was like that was more than a year ago. Right. So like, um, that was like well, I think, well, it was like right before quarantine went down is he kind of had to take a step back yeah. and like do with other stuff going on and he had other priorities in life um so it, that was like you know uh what he needed to do and then like in like that time between like when he left and like daniel came in it was kind of like Corey and i like i was trying to um make beats and like produce half-ass type of thing we were just trying to find youtube beats and lay them down yeah right yeah yeah and then so it was like uh so really like i think the start of like what flooded kids is now was when daniel came in like yeah. june or july of last year like right right at the beginning sort of quarantine mm -hmm. and that was another thing i helped too was like we weren't doing anything besides <laughs> either being at home or being in that studio <laughs> right yeah. on that helped so much yeah it was yeah, yeah. So, it was so nice dude yeah and i just like it just worked like there was no like getting to like know each other in like a studio space or anything it was just all right all right it's happening. yeah no it's happening. everything yeah. just yeah. flowed it's, everything thing. is just flowing it's, so well honestly we we like so there was like a time when we just like a few months ago i think all of a sudden we had like three shows fall in our lap at like yeah. one time <laughs> straight up so like we booked <laughs> we booked like a show in august in september and in october and now we have a second one in October, so we have four shows. Um, 
but we like we got like three shows at once and then we were like holy shit like this is kind of crazy and like after we kind of got that we were like yo like we have these songs done let's take a step back and like hang out as homies now because right. like yeah. this whole the whole year it had been like you know Corey and I have known each other for a while but really like I didn't know Danny like that the only time I hung out with him was when we were working on music right so it's like we, we bonded through music and shit that like made us homies but then I was like we've never actually like gone out to a bar or we've never actually, right. like, just sat down and fucking played video games or just like chilled or anything like that and I was like let's say let's like we agree like let's take a few weeks and just fucking hang out you know what I mean well a lot of times you know like I remember. Uh, you know, being in bands and stuff, and we'd be trying to look for other members. You know, some, it's fucking hard to find somebody you want to play with. You want to play, so mm-hmm. you you know, you go to like Craigslist and shit. You know, like with a fucking right. musician stab, and then you're like looking through for bassists. And so then you'd meet somebody that way. So then you you know you start playing some music together. And then you meet up for practices, and then yeah, it comes to that point where it's just like. Well, fuck, dude. I mean, you seem like a cool fucking dude, but like, that's like hang out and like have a few beers. Like, I haven't seen right. you drunk yet. Like, yeah. <laughs> right. yes, like really? How really? fucking are you when you're drunk, right. bro? Like, you know, yeah. or, you know, or if you guys smoke, you know, but most of the time if you smoke weed, I mean, you already smoke weed together at practices yeah. and shit, but it's like you don't always drink. So, but yeah, or like just, just hang out, like you said, play video games. Like, this is like get to know each other more. But a lot of times it does start like with, just the music part yeah you know you yeah. get together i mean honestly vibe on that. me and deegs became friends just because of music it was like I, yeah no and uh even like cool kids and shit like it was just oh, like shit, we yeah, kind of yeah. just saw each other and we're like oh like, yeah what's up you like you like hip yeah yeah what, who do you listen cool kid you listen to the you listen to Kid Cudi yeah. too <laughs> like what was, i think i think it was the cool kids for us too because it was like i had randomly found them on youtube and like anybody I talked to didn't know who they were. And then I remember meeting you and then it was like within the first few times we hung out, one of us mentioned cool kids and we were both like, Wait, what the fuck you know who they are? Yeah, and no. It was like instant best friends from them. Seriously. So it's yeah, no, I don't know. I guess music just brings everyone together. Yeah. So that's yeah. Kinda... yeah, it's like it's 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 a it's a language thing. It's like the same language. Like I, I I'm I think it's better off that Danny and I or like started working on music together more than we did started hanging out together because then we like I think we bonded stronger and like got to know each other better through music than we did just chilling bullshit and hanging out. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, it's because it's something like when you're when you're in music, like it's something like you're obviously you're both really passionate about, and then when you can vibe with somebody on that level, mm-hmm. like that takes precedence almost video over over all the other shit video games that's why it comes last that's why it's natural to be like we haven't even like hung out yet yeah yeah because that vibe like you can you can like get over other shit if as long as that fucking music vibe is there like you'll you there's a surprising amount of shit you'll deal with yeah before you're just like fuck it <laughs> I gotta cut ties, you right. know. Yeah, I mean, shit. Like, you know, even the band that I, the last band that I was in, like, and I, he, it was just like this dude brought in such negative energy every day, every fucking day. It was like just like downer, and like I dealt with it for so long because we like the music, we all vibed really well. Yeah, but eventually, you know. You know, shit came to an end anyways. wasn't even my doing. But, like, I was just, like, so relieved, like, to not have to deal with that. And, like, if you got, like, anybody right now listening, I'm sure there's people (laughs) that know exactly what I'm talking about. You got to fucking get rid of them. Just cut ties. I don't care if they're the lead vocals for your band. And, oh, man, if we get rid of him, we're fucked. Like, you got to do it or start something different because... That shit wears on you so hard. And it was, like, unimaginable, like, how it was when that happened. And I was just like, oh, right. like I can breathe again. Yeah. Like, I can breathe. Because it's like, I don't have to deal with this no more. Yeah. yeah. And John knows exactly what I'm talking about. He ta- <laughs> he, me and him met after that band ended. I, yep. I met him and I was like, oh, shit, you know, you play guitar or whatever. Yeah. Let's get together. Oh, he lives three blocks away. What? Yeah. 
perfect. Okay, right? Yeah, so he comes over. We're, it is. So we start jamming, right? And so I'm like bitching to him about the last band. And then finally it was like, who, who, who is he? So I told him who he was. He's like, dude, I fucking jammed with that same dude. Mm, wow. And we, like, he was bitching to me about that dude. Like, we didn't realize we were bitching <laughs> about the same dude. Like, talk about Small World right. earlier, like, yeah. with Mitch and stuff. Like, holy fuck. I was like, no way. And this dude, like, moved from way, like, down south, like, somewhere different, like, than here. And I'm like, what are the fucking odds? Yeah. Both of us are involved in the same band with this dude. And, like, we live three blocks away. And we didn't even know each other. Right. <laughs> Perfect, like fuck, like natural, Shit. non. I don't fuck. I hate fucking toxic like environments. Ugh. So like, dude, yeah. it's bad. Like, we don't do negative vibes. In like, the it's studio, okay and if you got them inside of you. You put them on the mic, and then it ends up being put them on the mic. I mean, it's okay. Like you know, sh you know, sh people go through shit. Yeah, like, people are gonna go through shit. You can you can go through those times, but when it's just like all the time, negative, right. negative, negative. It's unbearable Absolutely. to deal with. Like, even, like, shows or, like, you know, you're negative about the show. You're negative about this. It's like, dude, what 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 more can I do? <laughs> right. You know, to, like, satisfy your need of, like, not bitching. Right. <laughs> Why aren't you just happy that we're even doing this? Yeah. Like, yeah. that we're even able to make music and hang out with each other. Like. Or, like... Or even like fucking like back to work too, like bosses and stuff too. Like just fucking nothing is ever good enough. It's like you got to do. Oh well, you did this and you got to do this and mm. you got to do this and it's like, and then it's like, oh, you want to climb up the ladder? It's like, fuck you. No, I don't. I'm just gonna sit here and get, keep getting my raises and have this gravy ass job. <laughs> Speaking about Walmart earlier, when I worked at Walmart. There's this guy fucking named like Vic or the Victor, I'm assuming, because everybody call him Vic. This guy was old as fuck, and he was making <laughs> fat ass pay stocking milk, bro, in the fucking freezer. I was like, that's fucking goals right there, dude. This guy was making north 25 some an hour, and this is back when I was at Walmart. So this is like years ago, and he's like just raking it in, stocking milk, and the motherfucker was in the break room half the night. <laughs> Man, I cannot think of this show right now. Mm. It's, oh, it's it's Cloud Nine. Cloud Nine. It, that's where they work, but it's okay. the, it's so they wear blue vests, but it's got a cloud on it, not like the Walmart thing. Oh, okay. And like, so I think it's kind of like, like basing a, it off of that. Okay. But no, they had the same shit. It was this old ass lady working. Her, I think her name was Myrtle, and she was like, <laughs> she was like eighty two years old, making like fucking twenty seven dollars an hour. Yeah. Just, Stock and milk? Fold oh, laundry. Fold laundry. Stock and All right. milk. Like, yeah. you know, just doing, yeah, doing bullshit. Yeah. yeah. Grocery store shit. Right. Like, working at a grocery store. Right. Bro. Yeah. No, there yeah. was a whole episode because the corporate came down and was like, so, who's Myrtle? And, like, <laughs> we... It, like I don't know and they were like trying to Myrtle? fire her so like the whole crew was like you can't fire her like trying to like save her job and shit like that oh no I would have been like you can fire this fuck he's fucking in the break room half tonight <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting out here paying like less than half what he is right right. son of a bitch <laughs> in here that's why I would motherfucking we got like an hour break it was like nine hour shifts it was mm -hmm. third shift we got an hour break fucking kill me now because now i want to fall asleep right. so i but i wanted that whole hour break bro so i go in there like i'd, I'd take like cereal for lunch i go in the break room right i sit down and eat some cereal <laughs> and then i go punch out <laughs> <laughs> fuck y'all oh, yeah. yeah you pay me to eat man this is a bullshit ass job you got vic over here <laughs> like <laughs> like i am fucking going in there i'm gonna eat first yeah. And they'd all they'd all know too because we'd all go out, obviously get high, you know. Right. <laughs> so we they'd all wait for me. They'd be like, and eventually they'd just be like, "So you're gonna go like eat first? I'm like, "Yeah." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah! I ain't wasting my break on eating. No, no, sorry. man. That's so many times the delivery came late on oh. my break. I was like, I only have twenty minutes. <laughs> Like, you got here with five minutes left of my break. And they expect me to be on the line before that. Like I would guess that's one cool thing about the place that I work is a lot of the supervisors. Well, not a lot, but I'd say at least 40%, so it's close. But they'll, like, go and, like, meet the delivery guy, and then they'll get it for him. And then they'll be like, hey, your yeah, shit's yeah. here. 
Yeah. And I guess if and you were friends with people that weren't like on the line, they'd be like, oh, yeah, I'll go grab it and like throw it in the fridge or whatever. But right. yeah. Do you want another one or no? Uh, sure. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> Just stacking them up over here. Yeah, stacking them. <laughs> Stacking them. Hey, you got a cheers? You got, you got anything? You got anything? Oh, we're gonna cheers some water. Yeah, are you, you are you drinking water. Jim Bean and hot dog water? Uh, hot oh. dog water. Look at look at this. Punch hey. bowl sangria. Ooh, sangria. It's, it's Is it good? Damn. It's really good, dude. Yeah. It's good. Mm, sangria's good. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. In a fucking can. Shit. I don't. I don't give a fuck, dude. I'll drink. I'll drink the fruitiest shit because it gets me the most fucked up. Yo, he dude. Gets the alcohol. My uh, my mom posted a picture of uh, Crown Royal Washington Apple in like a mm. can. I what? Was like, oh. yo, yeah. whoa! I'm gonna need that. So like, like carbonated too, obviously. Like Crown, because Crown Royal is a be liqueur. Yeah. Oh, liqueur. I'm gonna have to actually find it now. Wow, that's weird. And, that's why. And that's what I thought. Of, that's carbonated, right? The sangria thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's a it's technically a hard cider, I guess. Huh? Because it's it's like you said it's yeah it's a Michigan brand. Oh, is it? House, farm, farm, farm house. It's German, I guess. Farm house. Farm house. Farm house. Cider company. Shout out. Pay me Shout now. Out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like Jack Daniels, they came out with like the they're like Jack and Coke or whatever in a can. Oh, and, oh yeah, so. really, dude? They're trying yeah, to make that they, shit more and more portable. They're trying right. to get people too fucked up mm -hmm. out here, man. Seriously. Yeah. People see cans, they're like, oh, 3.5%. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like New Holland has like mules and stuff you can buy in cans. Yeah. And like, yeah. uh, I don't know, like margaritas and stuff like that. They have the yeah. mules. They have, they have the, they're like whiskey and coke. There's even like UV, you know, like the, the vodka brand or whatever that is, like yeah. UV blue. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they yeah. They have like, they have like canned drinks now too. They have like seltzers and like canned mixed yeah. drinks. And oh. shit. That was always the bitch drink, you know. It was all oh, yeah. they yeah. all all the girls they that had was the UV blue. Oh, was it yours too? Mm -hmm. You're over there too. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. UV yeah. blue. Dude. I was carrying for around Captain yeah. Morgan's like, man. That was definitely the start for of a, it. For a very short time. Yeah. Then I moved on to Jaeger. Ooh. That's a big jump, I feel like. Yeah. And Ooh, then I was just, just and then I jump. was drinking Jaeger straight. Bro, Whoa. On some Bro, but like That's the only time I ever blacked out was Jaeger. Like I seriously blacked out, don't remember the rest of the night. Dude. I went wild. from fucking UV blue to me and my homie stealing half gallons of fucking just plain <laughs> smearing off. <laughs> and just oh, shit. That. Dude, it was so bad. We were oh, just getting, man. Dude, only thing I've ever blacked. You got away with it? Yeah, Stealing dude, these half gallons? Oh, I, like a dude, party store dude, or something? No, no, like a fucking Meyer, dude. It was oh, crazy. Oh, Meyer. Oh, that's a lot. That's easier than a party yeah. store, yeah, for sure. Man. It was, for dude, sure. I don't know what the fuck we were doing, uh, bro. But I got, I got, I mean, I got to come clean here. It was crazy. I got to come clean here. You know, I mean, I, bet I was at Meyer, you know, and I, I, I had all my groceries on the cart and, you know, she forgot to scan the pop on her knees, bro. <laughs> so I walked out. I was like, damn, damn. bro, I got like two cases Dude. of pop. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. No. The the hell yeah, oh, I know y'all did. Know. That's why I said I gotta come clean because these motherfuckers no. agree. It happens, right? <laughs> mine, was, mine was opposite though, dude. Mine was opposite. I had my shit in the bottom of the cart and she scanned it and I forgot <gasps> to fucking grab it. Oh, <laughs> oh no. no, yours is opposite. Like years ago. Oh no. <laughs> no. Years ago. Uh oh. I, like, I had my cart and I like she scanned it and everything and I put it under there. I didn't realize it until like the day after when I was like, damn, I'm thirsty. Damn! Yeah, I had bought like a, a like a thing of like Coke or something like Coca Cola. So mm. I'll go grab one of those Cokes and then I opened oh, the fridge and wasn't there. No. And I was like, oh shit! That's right. Someone got a free fucking case of Coke. Oh, man, y'all should. I hope it was at least the the cart guy. You know what I'm saying? Like I hope it was yeah. the dude that was like working. he was like, like oh, hell oh. yeah, hell yeah, man. It's my yeah. lucky I day. How much that happens. Like, I wonder how much right. that happens. I wonder how much people leave shit in the bottom of that car. Oh sure, I'm sure a lot. I'm sure it happens a yeah. lot. Well, I, I don't know. I was a car pusher for a while, and I never really found anything on the bottom of the cart. Really? Damn, man, you, you guys just need to film him going back to that same place and talking about this. Like, yo, this years ago, <laughs> I left this pop, right? You know, this, this case of pop. Oh, shit. Well, no, let's even go. Better. No. Even let's better. Go. We're even going better. to Washington. You could, you, could, <laughs> you, could go, Washington. you could go to you, go that one store. You can go to any fucking store. It wouldn't matter. The story would still be the same because they'd be like, what the fuck are you talking about? Do that. And then you just film a song called Bitch, Give Me My Pop. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, give me my pop.
bitch, give me my pop. And then you got the song in the backstory. That'd be hard. Already. I'm yeah, down. dude, you got to say it. Yeah, you'd have to say it. That's how it ends. You go, bitch, give me my pop. I can picture. <laughs> I can picture Deke saying it now. Mm-hmm. Oh man. Oh yeah, you just got to do it for the film, and then after you walk away, you'd be like, "I'm sorry, man. Here's twenty dollars <laughs> dealing, with, yeah, dealing with my bullshit. Here's twenty dollars for letting me call you a bitch. Yeah, sorry right. about that. <laughs> I'd take twenty dollars. You want to call me a fucking bitch? I don't, Twenty bucks, man. I mean, fair enough. Okay. <laughs> Shit, you're at the grocery store. Oh, Somebody's like, "Hey, man, can I call you a fucking bitch?" Right. right. Well, I guess, you, or somebody comes up to you and says, "Hey, bitch," and you're like, turn around, like all pissed, and then they're like, "Yo, yo, yo, here's twenty bucks. We just filmed you. Can we use it?" Would you say yes? Sign this NDA. Would you say yes though? Would you say yeah? You can use. I mean, it? They're I like, here's twenty yes. bucks. Here's twenty bucks. Yeah, why not? I don't care. Yeah. What? Yeah. I mean. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah, right out. Yeah. Like, 20 like, bucks is the dot. Every attention, everybody. <laughs> I mean, I've like, probably, 20 bucks is the bottom one. I've probably done something that's deserved $20 more than that has before that. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, you right? know, like, Hell yeah. I'm taking my 20 bucks for this minute of right. interaction here. Yeah. Whatever. Hell yeah. I'd take the 20 bucks too. I mean, fuck it. It's 20 bucks. Yeah. They just want that genuine reaction, you know, right. like you turn around like, are you. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I'd just be like, "Where? What are you? What are you putting this on? Like, where yeah. is it? Oh. Like, are you putting it on YouTube? Is it can gonna I, be on YouTube? Yeah. Can I see it on Instagram? Like, yeah. Is can you TikTok? send me the link, bro? Yeah, send me the link. Are on we first, on first talk. Yeah, right. <laughs> you guys got TikTok? Uh, kind of. Yeah. yeah. There's a there's an account made. We're, we're, we're working it. on it. Got to use it. Yeah. We're working on it, dude. I, it's a. I fucking it, hate it. I yeah. fucking hate having so much social media to keep up with. But yeah. you got to fucking do it, dude. You, do. you got to, man. No, really. Yeah. Yeah. We're, just quick bullshit. We filmed a TikTok the other day. It was really fun, actually. Yeah. Oh, and you posted it? No, not yet. <laughs> wait. wait. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for that guy. He said, he said no, he was not yet. Make it. Oh. Wait, me? You waiting for me? I thought you Can said you, you were gonna it? edit it. Oh, no, you're gonna edit it? it? Oh no, I, it's, Corey it's, fucking because I couldn't. Get I the edited video it all. With, yeah, we yeah, couldn't send it. Put it all together. Wait, what? Oh. We couldn't send it anyway. Like no matter what way I tried to send it to him, it would not send all of them. Well, I got I got some of the videos on on the Google Drive, and then I don't know. He like just couldn't send the rest of them, so he just edited it and put it like in our drafts or whatever. But we'll talk about that. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but TikTok, but TikTok, yeah, 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 yeah the TikTok. social media. You guys got Instagram? Yeah, we yes. got Instagram. At Flooded yeah. Kids, baby. Everything's at Flooded Kids. Everything. Isn't yeah, that nice? Flooded Kids. Our name everywhere is Flooded Kids, so it's super dope not having to say, like, our fucking Facebook is this. Instagram yes, is this, Twitter yes, is this. yes. Know, like, our handle, our handle on everything is just Flooded The same. Kids, yep, word. that's the same yeah. with mine. Yep. Just Perfect. at Obscured State of Mind. That's everything. Yeah. I'm that's like, cool yes. name, by the way. Yes. Yeah. Flat and that's key. I think that's a key thing. Like, you got to pick out that unique name that nobody has, you know, like, yeah. all, with all these URLs and all these links and everything that you got. Like, you know, especially, like, you got to make your website and it's, like, something different, like, flooded kids music even. Like, yeah. <sighs> Mm-hmm. Like people are not gonna type that in. They're gonna flooded kids. Now you hope you'll just get redirected, or you that'll be the first thing that pops up. But still, yeah. everything's about steps with people nowadays. For it's sure. like how many the steps? Yeah, how many clicks does this person have to get to where I want them to be? Mm-hmm. You want it to be basically one fucking click. Yeah, because yeah. people's attention spans is like just boop. It's like crazy. that's it. Like, if it can just boop. automatically play. <laughs> That's the best. Like, yeah, the autoplay. The, yeah, that's autoplay. You're scrolling through, it pops up. Yes, well, you got to have something like uh, immediately. Like as soon as you're scrolling, just be like, "Fuck this guy!" <laughs> like you're like, "Whoa, what the?" <laughs> it's like, you know, you got to have something that like immediately catches them. Or if right. you're like doing a teaser to your song, you got to be like, "Boop!" Right into like a verse. You're like a killer part. Like you're like your guys' favorite part. Basically, yeah. yes, what you have to do. Your favorite part of the song. Pretty much. You know, and then. That's your thirty seconds or whatever that's on there, you know. Like mm-hmm. it's it fucking sucks, dude. Like it sucks because you want to be so much more cinematic with shit, but like people don't even have time. Like I don't understand how people watch movies anymore. Like <laughs> how do you have a time for an hour and a half, but you can't watch my fucking two minute or one minute TikTok, right? Like right. or you know. <laughs> Like, I got to get it done in 30 seconds now for your ass. That's why Vine was the best. I mean, five, six seconds, you got to be funny or you're done, bitch. (laughs) 
Like, and that's what like TikTok started as that. Like, I think the max was like 15 or 30 seconds for TikTok, which like 30 is a lot. 15 isn't bad, but now they got these fucking. There's a three minute max on TikTok now. Yeah. See, there's literally like you can put a three minute video on TikTok, and that's just like dumb as fuck. I feel that's like a no whole one's song. like. It, <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's a whole song. Me, like, like if I'm scrolling through TikTok and I see because they have it like at the very bottom of the video will have like a little white bar and if that white bar shows up you'll be able to tell how long it is and like if there's no white bar that means it's like 15 seconds or less but then if there's a white bar that means it could it, it could either be like 30 seconds a minute two minutes like it depends on how much how fast it's moving and it's like yo if i if i fucking see that white bar there i'm skipping that video like if it's, if it's more than fucking 15 seconds i'm here for comedy and quick comedy at that like right what yeah. i need to get the fuck out of here <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah. That's what. That's all I do is about a minute. I do a minute because I think that's good, yeah, and that's what I. And it's like, and it's a bitch because you got to go back. Like for me, I got to go back and forth. Like, f so I have to. I go to Instagram first, and I go to Reels because Reels, like with my videos, they're like widescreen, mm. and that's not when you're when you're scrolling mm -hmm. through TikTok, you don't want you don't want to necessarily have some little box. It's yeah, immediately going to be right, swiped, exactly, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you have to go to Instagram Reels, and then they have that option where you can expand it, and it, like, takes up the whole screen. Yeah. And so it, it ends up being where I got I kind of got most of the face, so it's it's just enough. Mm -hmm. So i got to do it on there first, save the video, then i got to go back to fucking TikTok, and then upload, or, you know, do take that video, do it on TikTok, and then take that TikTok, save it, and put it on Instagram so that way you have the TikTok logo on there mm. so people know that you're on TikTok. That's a right. fucking but it's bullshit a ass shit that I gotta do that to fucking promote this shit. So <laughs> yeah, promoting's so real folks. fun. You know? Yeah. And it's like all these fucking avenues that you have to you, you have to go through them. Yeah. You have to do them. In order like because that's what everybody's saying. Like, oh do you got do you got a TikTok or do you have to have a TikTok? Right. Because oh, it's got more organic reach or this and that, and it's like it's still hashtags. It's yeah. still like, what's wrong with just using Instagram Reels? Why can't I? Do, like, I bet you all the TikTokers have Instagram Reels. <laughs> like, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, you know. No, and the, and it, and they they probably do, but it's also like just the, it's like so, it's like something new. Like, I feel like it's just like. I don't know. It's that trend, man. Yeah, maybe TikTok trend. won't. I don't know if it'll last that long, but you know, something else will come out that's like thing. almost the same yeah. thing. But it's right. like, oh, this is the next thing, and then everyone has that, and then everyone has to transition and figure out how to use that as their avenue of like marketing, yeah. as well as all of the other ones that have stayed put, like yeah. Twitter it's and Facebook like and Instagram. It's, it's, it feels like, you know, like, Facebook came out, that was big, and then, like, Twitter, Instagram, like, they had their time in the limelight, but as a, the new app comes out, the last one kind of plateaus. So, like, right now, like, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram are at the same level where they're kind of like, yeah, I have that, that's where I'm at, and then there's TikTok where it's like, that's where everybody is right now, or that's where, like, you know, at least where the generation that's current is That's going. what all the kids are doing. That's what that's all what the kids are doing. <laughs> yeah, and that's so what it like, all comes down to, though. Yeah, seriously. That's what all the kids are, yeah, cool like, kids and are that's, that's going to be like, there's, you know, like five, six years from now, something else is going to come out that top TikTok. And then TikTok is going to be at the same level as Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. But that next one is going to be up there. And like you said, you're just going to keep adding to your portfolio of places you need to fucking promote shit. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's, a fucking, it's a fucking tough thing to fucking do. It's, 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 but if you have multiple members, what you do is you just split it up. You got Facebook, that's you got Instagram. Yep. That's what we do. <laughs> you got TikTok. We do you have Twitter? Yeah. Have Twitter, you do? Yes. Do you use it? You use it a lot? Or? He's a I Twitter try, guy. You're the, try, so you're I Twitter. Try, I try what are you? To, I'm Instagram. And you're Facebook. He's TikTok. also Facebook. Oh, you're TikTok. He's not doing, sh he's not even, doing anything right now. You ain't doing shit. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm nah. Yeah, I'm, you gotta have I'm one social. On, I'm He's, supposed to be on the TikTok, but then, like, Corey has the best camera out of all of us, so we used his shit to film it, and then it turns out it's a lot harder than we thought to fucking transfer video, <laughs> yeah. keeping quality yeah. on the phone. So, but, uh, no, I, so who I does Facebook? Personal, I don't even have a personal Facebook. Like, I mean, I oh, right. Okay. I guess, honestly, me and him are pretty much logged into 
almost everything. So you guys Except just, for, I don't yeah. think he's logged into the Twitter. I'm not That's the, the only one that. But, but you guys just kind of share can... the Facebook, just but, yeah. whoever go on and post. Yeah. 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 yeah it's and it's we, key. We all kind of, we share the, oh no. Well, I mean, we did share the Instagram for a bit or like, I think I ran that for a bit and then I like didn't want to do it. So I gave it to Daniel. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, if if it's not your thing, then you're not going to be good at it. I mean, I mean that's what it comes down to. Instagram if, if is it's, definitely the one I'd want to be. Honestly, like, uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's what I was like. Well, I if, feel it's, like it's true, though. Yeah, I mean, you got to give it to somebody who wants to do it. Yeah, yeah exactly. If, if you want to do it, do and it. Like, like, if you can do a good job at it. Right. You know? Like, yeah, I'm I'm about to just say fuck it and like camera quality doesn't matter on TikTok, so I'll just use my phone. No, it doesn't. It doesn't shit. Fuck Dude, it. honestly yeah, like, I upload video from this, like on my computer, and then I download it on Google Drive, and then I because I have to get it to my phone to do it on TikTok, right? Mm-hmm. I download it to my phone and the quality still is downgraded. Yeah. It's yeah. it's yeah. still downgraded. So it has just to go through so much shit. Yeah, it's just whatever. <laughs> just you gotta get it out there though. Who right. fucking cares at that point? No, and honestly, I feel like a lot of our stuff is sometimes more grungy anyways. So it's like, even if it didn't look like crisp and clear, it's like kind of how it's supposed to look anyways. Yeah. So yeah. Move it up a bit. You're taller. Jeez, you're like, there you go. Tall boy. There you go. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell there we go. Are. There we go. Yeah. It, <laughs> Yeah, marketing is just a fucking bitch. Yeah, it's it's, it's hard fun. to break the mold. That's what I've been learning. I've been I've been learning. It's a hell of you a gotta time. know the in hashtags. You yeah. know, like I got a I got a tip that I'll share. Like the other day was like when you're on TikTok, and you click the hashtag. Well, the hashtag there'll be like a little drop down menu of your previous ones, but there also be ones with like a blue like thumbs up next to it or whatever, and that's like the trending tag of like that day or whatever. Okay. So you kind of just, just whatever it is, like yeah. it'll be it'll, like one of them was like, talk to me curly. I just, <laughs> nice. I put in just mine and just threw it in there. there. Yeah. 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 Just a little, little, yeah. little yeah. pepper on that bitch, yeah. you know? <laughs> For sure. Yeah, that's, that's the thing with TikTok. Is Might like, as well. Yeah. Like half the videos, like their caption doesn't fucking matter. Caption is like a, like an afterthought for a lot of people because it's just a video. It is. It is though. It, and then. And Why do like, I spend so can, much time on it? All right. <laughs> like you, you can literally just post a video without a caption, and if you have, you can have like four hashtags, and it'll like reach somebody. Like literally, like one of the main hashtags is hashtag viral. Like that's is one of the it? Hashtags a lot of people use which is the word viral. Just viral. Like that. Uh, just viral. Yeah. Like it's. Just, people you will... look at the hashtags. You scroll through the videos that are playing, and you see the hashtags that are used the most, even if they aren't relevant to the video, and you just fucking use those. But what I'm wondering is because I don't go like to TikTok, I don't search viral. Right. Like, what is popping up on my shit when I open TikTok? Like, I open TikTok, it's, it's bam. Yeah. Like, what? So, it's, what it's, algorithm it's, is it? Like, what the fuck is it? The, like, the, how how the, the hell am I getting this shit on my screen? The what's popular like? I seriously it. downloaded it, and the first thing was some chick like, yeah, and I'm like. Yeah. I knew this was gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, TikTok, it's it's a shit show when you first get on because they're just feeding you what the majority of people like. So then, as you go through it, the algorithm will like see like whether you're. It, it even reads like if you watch it more than once. So like if you watch a video a few times, the algorithm will take that in. If you like it, if you share it with somebody, if you save it, or if you like read the comments, even like any type of interaction on a video. The algorithm takes in, and it's like, oh, you like this type of video that right. other people seem to like too. So then, the more you use it, the more specific it gets to what videos you're interacting with. Like my shit right now, like on my TikTok, it's like anime and music. That's all it is. Like right. that's all I see on my. So- TikTok. Like, oh, that's it. <laughs> Sounds great. Yeah, th- I liked it once I started like following like like, like more people like started. Okay, and so I had like I think I. Well, at first, you know, I just had zero followers, and then you got like five. So then you just like follow them back, and then you like as soon as you open TikTok, it's kind of like one of theirs. Yeah. You know, you're like, okay, this is this is better. Yeah, but yeah, it's it's fucking algorithms, man. It's crazy. Yeah, it's just yeah. how how to yeah. work. But it's it's harder. Like I, I can understand that as the consumer, as like Facebook or anything like that. But it's how do you overcome that as the artist? Right. Like trying to get your shit in the algorithm. It's like yeah, you can that's be, why, you know, yeah. Our plan is to just make stupid shit that look, would kind of just like, cause we're, I mean, not to be, not to be fucking arrogant, but we're funny. Like when we just do shit, sometimes we're funny. And like our plan is just a videotape us doing our normal thing, which is sometimes stupid, sometimes fucking funny. 
and then just post that up and then eventually when we get a following we'll fucking just start promoting some music so like right now our tiktok plan isn't for fucking music promotion it's just kind of like us that's right cool. yeah no and that's what you you should it should yeah. be more we'll like sprinkle just our guys. music in there but it's just yeah. st- stupid videos of us or random shit Right. Yeah. So yeah. for for me, it's like kind of like you know, it's easy. So I, I just pick the segments. You know, I pick a segment. Well, I mean, it's not easy. You still <laughs> got to pick the segments. But right. Yeah. You get that, and then boom, you're done. You know, that's what I got to promote. Like you know, is sure. this. But yeah, as as music, you can't just be posting your same song or whatever every day. You gotta yeah be more involved. You know, this is what's going on, or like behind the scenes, or you're creating some beats or whatever you're doing. Like exactly. just it's just I, like daily shit. You know, I always liked watching uh, like artists in a studio or like even interview. Like we were mm-hmm. talking about this, like watching artists interviews. I almost watched those more than music videos, just right. because it was interesting seeing like where that artist came from and like yeah what the thought process was and shit like that. Like. Yeah. So, what was your thought process when you started wanting to get in the rap game? Like, you're like, like, you're like I want to rap. <laughs> what was your thought? What would, what were you listening to at the time? What kind of got you like? Hmm, uh, maybe I should. Maybe I should. Maybe maybe when you started rapping in the bedroom, you know, you're like, hmm. Honestly, at that point, probably the biggest inspiration was Mac Miller. Mac Miller. Okay. And then I was starting to get into like, I guess like more like suicide boys or like i don't know like xavier wolf or chris travis stuff like that uh i don't know i guess <laughs> it was like it's a bunch of white dudes that were rapping kind of thing. And <laughs> You're I was like, like hey maybe i can do this whoa like maybe it's not that far off like because no I, eminem in there i didn't know eminem and no like I listened, to, I listened to him and he was always good like i always listened to him and he was good it was just like i never identified with him enough to then like right like oh yeah that's something that i could definitely do like I don't right know. can't identify him enough to be like i can do this i guess yeah and then it was like because who could goofy. fucking do eminem you know right and then it was like goofier looking white dudes and i was like what <laughs> maybe this isn't so far off like I right. don't know. Let's go with it. Yeah. No. I mean, that, that, it, that all starts with just one inspiration. It doesn't matter where mm-hmm. it comes from. You Seriously, know? yeah. What would you say over there? Degs. For, Degs. I don't know, man. For Degs. Like, Degs. Degs. I said Degs, Degs again. Degs. Degs. What up, uh, Degs? What up, Degs? What up, Degs? <laughs> Degs. Uh, Degs. Like, I mean, I've always been... I mean, that's the thing with, like, our dynamic, too, is, like, they all come from something different. Right? Like, uh, like whether it be punk or, I mean, I mean Daniel with his Christian rock type of thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we haven't gotten him yet. <laughs> hey, we'll get but, there. We'll get there. Everybody comes from something different around here. So it's like, you know, we all come from scream, punk, emo, like, you know, pop music, what so have you. But, like, yeah. I've always been through and through, like, hip-hop. Like, I mean, my mom listened to... 90s rap when I was growing up, so that's why I like. I remember my first cassette tape that I had was this is like, I mean, cassette. I'm not that old, but you know, right. it was her cassette tape. But like, it was like a Sir Mix a Lot cassette tape. And then, um, but like my my like first favorite artist was or like group I guess was the was the Cool Kids. Um, uh, the, like that's the first time I actually started like following somebody. But, like, I, right. I'd, I'd always like music, but I never really paid attention to. Um, you know, when they're going to drop something or wanted to buy any of their merch or see them live or anything. I was just like, oh, I like the songs. But, uh, like, the Cool Kids were the first, like, artists that I was like, damn, I want to know when they're going to drop an album, when they're going to drop the next single. I want to buy some of the T-shirts. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, like, Kid Cudi's always been a big influence. Or okay. not influence, but, like, just someone I listen to. Because, like, my influence and then, like, my favorite artists are somewhat separate. Okay. Like, I like my yeah, favorite artist is, is that is a good point. Yeah. Like my favorite artist is Kid Cudi, but the music that I want to make and I enjoy to make is nothing like what he makes. Because like my influences are like what like Suicide Boys, um XXS Confession was like a huge influence. Ski Mask, like the angry rap. It's not like horror core rap, it's not like metal rap, it's just like hard beats, hard rapping and just like kind of angry shit. But then I fucking love to jam out just so Kid Cudi or Joji or like like uh, chill music like that. So um, 
I don't know. My favorite artist is always going to be Kid Cudi, but then my top five, you know, Cudi's always one, but then those four are constantly going to change. Like, I, you could probably ask me my top five right now and then my top five a year from now, and the only thing that would be the same would be Kid Cudi. Mm. But, um, but, and then, like, my influence is just, like, pretty pretty much, like, Suicide Boys, X, Key, Huya, um, like, Devil's Trio, like, all that type of shit. So, it's, I like to keep a, I guess, in rap, I say I'm I'm pretty dynamic when it comes to listening to rap, but then music genres as a whole, I'm not that dynamic. Like, I know some classic rock, and I, I know a little bit of fucking, like, punk because of Corey and some emo shit because of Corey. Yeah. But then <laughs> what I listen to is just fucking rap. <laughs> All right, Daniel. All right. What's up with this Christian rock? Mm-hmm. All right. What we got going so, on here? So, in general... I prevail? No, no, I no. prevail? No, 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 no. Okay. No. Right. So in general, like, <laughs> which is when I was like really young, like my dad was like into like Limp Biscuit and Corn and oh, stuff right, like that. Right. But like, we were like a Christian family and stuff, or they still are. But um, like he just didn't want me hearing that as a kid, right? So he'd play like POD, which is like. So wait a minute, I gotta ask a question. Biscuit, right? I gotta ask yeah. the question here. So you and Mitch are step brothers, or? Half, half brothers. brother, half brothers. So yes. dad or same dad, same dad. Yeah, same yep. dad, right? Okay, so same dad. Yep. With Mitch, listen to Limp Bizkit, yep. Corn. Okay, all that. All right. Yeah, we had to tie that knot. Yeah. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> um, but yeah. So like, they just would like I couldn't listen to anything that wasn't like Christian or was like swearing or whatever, right? Right. So I was just listening to whatever like Christian rock band I could find, so, like. <laughs> What was oh, their yes. name? There's a band called Disciple that I liked because they were like they were pretty heavy. Oh, actually. Disciple, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think I've heard of them. Yeah, yeah. And then eventually, like, I got into like Three Days Grace and all that that type yeah. of alternative rock. You know what I mean? And right. Then, and then it was like straight into 2008 metalcore. Like we came <laughs> as Romans asking Alexandria. <laughs> oh yeah. You know yeah. that super emo scene, metal scene. Dude. Yeah. That that was like that was like all of it. That was like the big thing. I always wanted to just be in a metal band, you know. Right. And then, did you play anything? I played. I like played the guitar for like a long time, but never really took it seriously. So like, uh-huh. I can kind of play it, but like, just I'm not good at it. Not, you know what yeah. I mean? Right. Um. So yeah, I always wanted to do that, and like, I literally never thought I'd be in a rap group. Like, I didn't list. I didn't like rap until I was in like the eighth grade. I was okay. Just listening on my dad's iPod. <laughs> and I uh, heard a Three Six Mafia song, Time oh, Club yeah. Up, and yeah, I was like, "Dude, yeah, this is sick!" Six Mafia. That dude. was the first rap song. I was like, "I want to listen to that." And then I kind of just got into like different rap, and I don't listen to a lot of it now, even honestly. Like, see, that was the dude right there in the fucking corner there. That's that's the dude that got me really into. Yeah, it. It was Dr. Yeah. Dre. Hell yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. I mean, in Biggie Smalls yeah. and, and shit like that. That's what that's what got me. Like, all right, this, for sure. This is what this is cool ass shit. Yeah. Like, I love I, old school hip hop. Like, I love yeah. West Wu-Tang. Side Connection. That's the NWA thing too. I don't so like good. as much as we have like different backgrounds. We all also listen to all of the same all stuff. Of the, like, yeah, because yeah. Yeah. yeah, like I don't know. I guess my influences like would be different than maybe my top artists like my favorite like he said yeah so what so so what would be your difference you you got one in mind what's your favorite artist um just just what's your favorite artist right now huh blink 182 blink 182 yeah okay favorite band of all time can listen to anything from anywhere like doesn't matter what mood i'm in i don't know yeah you you can dude it's like just that it was so crazy it was like the first thing that i found that i was like it doesn't matter whether i'm sad happy mad yeah. Neutral. I was yeah. just like everything sounds good. Like, I can play Blink One Eighty Two to anything. It doesn't really matter. Man. So good. That was kind of like a Slipknot for me. I can play that any fucking time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, it didn't oh. matter. Like mm-hmm. shit. Yeah. But then I'd get you know like my uncle blaring it or like 
because my uncles and shit were always over. Mm. Like, Conan and I were like, hey, what are you listening to this fucking shit for? <laughs> right. The fuck is this? And I'm like blaring it, right? Yeah. I like just like like mounted my speakers on the walls in my Hell room, yeah. too. I'm like just sitting there like enjoying the shit out of this. And you had to like spoil the fucking mood. Right. I'm like, fuck you. Right. You guys are out there partying, listening to your fucking shit. Don't disturb my sleep. You know? Right. Like, yes, I like ACDC, but I do not want to listen to them all the fucking time like right. you guys do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Fuck. Man. But yeah, rap was rap was later for me too. Like yeah. you said, but I I got just dove right into, you know, like I had my select artists at first, you know, obviously Eminem cuz I'm white. <laughs> and then, you know, like <laughs> and then, you know, I br- br- branched out into, you know, like Dr. Dre and shit. Yeah. Like he's the last why I say he's the one that I like, kind of really like, you know, cuz I gotcha, obviously yeah. investigate Eminem, where did he come from? OD12 oh, and then you got like Dr. Dre in there, you know, like I'm so I was listening to all that, like Purple Pills is still one of my favorite favorite songs you know with him and okay. d12 and shit know. you know or and or purple hills if you listen to the you know the <laughs> uh what parental guidance version the, <laughs> the radio edit the radio edit yeah purple hills but yeah one of my favorite things things to do is like look look at like you know if there's a feature on an artist that i've been listening to and i've never heard of the feature before like I'll yeah their music yeah i will like, do that like too yeah I'd, yeah, like I love finding new artists. Like when I was a kid, and all I had was like a desktop desktop computer and shit. Like I didn't have a phone or anything. I would like get home and just like get on YouTube and be like, you know, just look up artists and then like look at the suggested video, suggested video until I found like a new artist or something. Yeah, like, I love finding like new new artists, new new rappers and everything. And when there's a feature and I I like a little bit, I'll look up the rest of their music. I love diving into stuff like that. Dude, John, I just thought, I just had like a light bulb moment. Why don't you just uh, maximize his screen? Like, what the fuck? We got it on a different <laughs> computer. I know we're like way into deep into this. Let's try it since we're deep in. Can you, uh, you might have to uh, just drag the screen over a little bit. Go up to the black part. Up to the black part. Up. <laughs> yeah. Grab that and drag it over just a little bit. And up. Okay. Yeah, do that. Yep. Oh no! It should be like right to the right of that fucking little like. Um, hold on a second. Yeah, go go to the right of that. Yeah, right there. Click that. Boom. Yeah, I know you can't see it, but I knew it was there. How does that look uh, when you're switching to the cams? Look at you now, big boy. Oh shit! Does it look better? Okay, cool. Just Fuck a second. Here. I'm getting a phone call real quick. I'm gonna take this call. Y'all keep talking a second. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Hey, this is all new to us. Yeah. Who fucking cares? Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> I'm, I mean, I was going to say something. Like, I do that now because I didn't do what he was talking about. Like, I don't know. Like, I heard a feature from an artist and then, you know, like, just didn't think anything of it because I was, like, super into the artist that I was listening to. And then turns out that the artist that was featured on that song was, like, one of my favorite artists. So I was like... Man, like I should really right. like, pay attention to who's featured on songs and like yeah. w- where they're featured, like who is who in these songs, so I can look them up later and like you dive into like a, a fucking you can dive. It's the same thing with like well, no, it's not actually it's not. You can dive into a hole with metal, but it's not the same thing with metal because you don't have a lot of features. But right. when you on rap and stuff and hip hop, you can dive into a straight up hole on Spotify and you're just like, okay, who's this? Yeah, mm-hmm. like I heard his verse. This sounds fucking b- it banged like with that beat like almost better than the other dude sometimes right. You're right. Like, all right let's look up his shit and sometimes you'll go to that artist though and you'll be like oh yeah all right never mind i'm going yeah. back to the other dude right. but yeah, you might another. come across this artist you're like holy shit this shit bangs right no, I mean, all of his I stuff love when that happens yeah i love just finding like, it's such a good day like it's such a good fucking day yeah. like you know you find a new metal band and you're like you find a new right. fucking rap artist you're like fuck yeah man right, exactly I mean, a whole catalog i can go through here now you will use you hope so right you hope right. there's a catalog of shit like they got two albums already you're right like, fuck yeah so is that that's what is that what you guys are kind of planning on doing like are you gonna do like a singles route and then do like a wrap-up album maybe at the end with two bonus songs that nobody heard like i think that's that's kind of what i've been saying a lot is do singles because people again short attention spans that's you, exactly. give, you give them a month to consume and then you move on to the next single do like 
if you had, say you had 10 songs, you do eight singles and then you do an album that has two bonus uh, songs on it that nobody heard. Yeah. So like, I feel like where we're at with that is we're like, we have these songs that we, that we've made and like, they're cool. Obviously we want to keep releasing some of them as singles and then go into that EP. But I feel like we're still just like getting so much better every time we make something new because i mean You're i'm always still gonna feel that way yeah i'm You're still always gonna feel i'm that still way. learning and i'm trying to do new things every time we oh yeah try to make something oh yeah so it's like and and lately it's and just every time you make something better. new you're like oh well i want to release this exactly so we're like <laughs> well if we're just gonna keep getting better and keep making more <laughs> stuff that we like why would we just do it now and why would why not just keep building that and come out with something that we really like actually want to put out and really enjoy and okay. really feel like so like kind of like overview everything yeah so yeah some I feel like release tracks if maybe. it was gonna like we might release like a song or two that we released as a single but then do like the rest of the songs on the ep however long it would be right it would be like all new ones that we've like made so you're still thinking maybe just a couple singles and then do the record or the ep yeah. which is like yeah. four songs or five songs what are you thinking i think we're going five what's the limit the limit's probably six six yeah, yeah i was gonna call maybe EP say six. seven but six is probably a bit yeah. I like I, like I think seven's a little lengthy for an ep seven yeah. would be yeah. six is pushing it i think yeah. yeah that's pushing it on the well it depends on the length of the songs that's fair you might have to call it an lp yeah true I have to call it an LP. That's fair. But I never got I that. I'm like, why you call this son of a bitch an LP? Just call yeah. it an album, you right. stupid fuck. Right. Like, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> like a long, oh, it's a long playthrough. A, right. Oh, okay. Yeah, suck my dick, man. This is a fuck. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is a fucking album, okay? Yeah. If it's like, I think, what do you, th- what do you say? Uh, t- <sighs> 25 minutes. Or 20, 20 to is what's an okay. album? Twenty five minutes. I or? guess it depends. I, mean, I don't know. I've spent like hour and a half in an album. Yeah, before. seriously. Yeah. There's some sure half for sure. An hour but what's albums. what's the shortest an album can be though? Well, probably Ooh. I would say like eight songs. I've I saw some artists. No, that's recently. songs though. You gotta go. I'm saying length. Oh, that's yeah. I get yeah. I don't know. But yeah, that's a fucked up question, huh? Yeah, it is. I guess it's just like because you got bands like minutes? Dream Theater, Dream Theater like shit, like where it's yeah. like songs are like eight, nine minutes. Well, yeah, and then no, I was even thinking like Logic <laughs> has an album that it's like an hour long to listen to, what? which is super tight. Because Logic, yeah. Then like an hour goes by and you're like, oh yeah, shit. Dude, I like Jordan but, Lucas, man. That fucking dude. He's cool. Oh yeah, he can spit it. Yeah, for sure. Dude, <laughs> first song I heard from him. When I first discovered, which wasn't that long ago, was the uh, ISIS. Oh yeah, I was like, dude, was that with <laughs> was that with Logic? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. That's what it reminded me. I was like, mm-hmm. oh yeah, yeah. That's the first song I heard, and then it was uh, Love or something like that. Or something. I love, yeah. I love, yeah. yeah. I was like, damn, dude, for sure. Total kind of different change, but still him. You got a song like, with Chris Brown that was super fire. Chris Brown? Yeah, it was called Stranger Things. I but, thought he was canceled. Uh, he probably is. <laughs> For beating up Rihanna. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, people are still doing songs. Somebody just did a song. Like yeah, that. he's still, like, relevant, I think, for some really? reason. Really? Oh. Yeah. Fucking people just dude. love Chris Brown. Right? I guess they don't care. He can sing. They beat the shit <laughs> out of him. Right. Or, right. Like, okay. It's like the same thing that with Tory Lanez. Like what? I don't. Is he? I don't know. He shot Megan the Stallion in the foot. And then, <laughs> I mean, honestly, I don't know. Honestly, you want to go really that don't route? Know what happened. You want to go that route though? I mean, like somebody. I mean, maybe he. You know, would never do that again. I mean, and yeah, I hope not. Like I don't know. <laughs> I you know. Not. But it's the stigma though. That's what goes with like with no, the canceling. Like, there with was the a- cancel culture. Like you do, you fuck up. Like you're done, dude. No, Sorry. Yeah, yeah. There was like this whole thing about that was like him like promoting his album because he like talked about it on his album and shit. Like I don't really know because I didn't Whoa. really listen to it all. But yeah, not a big Chris Brown fan. Yeah, I don't. I was just like, yeah, it's kind of like the new Usher or something. Really, <laughs> really. Where's Usher at? 
Usher is fucking, I don't know, with, dude, that dude had, like, a big nostrils, dude. Like, I fucking, <laughs> holy shit. You look at a fucking picture of Usher, man, it looks like his nose was squished. God damn. Yeah, That's yeah. That's brutal. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, dude was fucking like the hot shit, man. Oh, yeah. Nineties or like early two thousands. For sure. Nelly. Nelly. Ludacris. Oh, Nelly. Yeah, Ludacris. Oh, Nelly, dude. I've asked for that album, Country Grammar. Oh yeah. He just came out with a new album. It's Did country. He? Yeah. Country. He's got, like, yeah, no grammar. No. He's got like uh No grammar attached. No, hundred hundred percent country. <laughs> got like Oh, just country. Yeah, like country. Whoa. Like no, he's got so many features on it. I wish I could remember any of them. Dude, right he was now, good in Longest Yard. It was all right, that. Like he was trying I'm, to like do, honestly, yeah. do an acting career, right? <sighs> like he knew he was fucked then. <laughs> like, <laughs> right? It's like, dude, dude, you should have just lived like spent your money wisely. I guess. Like, how much money did you make off country grammar? I have no idea. If I got it, like I was like. <laughs> Like, how old was I? I was, like, preteen or, like, maybe a teen, like, just around that area. Yeah. Like, dude, how much money did you make off that? Was- just think about that. Like, it's, like, somebody works at, like, a factory. Like, we're, I work at a factory, too. Like, we're all factory people. Yeah. Like, if I made all that money off country grammar, like, I'd be set for life, bro. Oh, yeah, like, dude. how long does it take me to make a million dollars? He got more than a fucking million dollars off that. Holy of- shit. On top of the tours and everything else that was coming behind it, like yeah, there was a. I saw this random video about his abandoned mansion in like. Oh, uh, I did. I seen that too. Yeah. yeah, I was like, dude, I want to go see it. Right? No, it's just like <laughs> up in the woods, like yeah. all half broken down and shit. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, where? In uh, Missouri or something? Yeah, right? St. Louis. Oh, okay. St. Yeah. Louis. I think that's where he's from. Because I think, yeah, he bought it, like, it's, like, 30 minutes outside of St. Louis or some shit. You guys ever, like, going like, abandoned buildings and shit? I mean, I definitely have. Yeah, Which ones? To. Um, are you familiar with, like, the Holland area? Holland? I'm from, like, Holland, yeah. Here? Yeah, like, oh, yeah, we're in Holland. Holy shit. Fuck! <laughs> I'm in, like, what? holy shit, dude. What? I'm in, like... Oh, oh shit. Holy I'm shit. Really yeah. at the Holland area. I'm like, what? Uh, like, are you talking about Holland, Netherlands? My bad. I'm stupid as fuck. <laughs> All right. Well, so. Yeah. So, anyways, you know, like, window on the waterfront, like the soccer field over there? Okay. Yeah. So, like, there's a building down there that was, like, I think it was, like, a water mill or something. Oh. Like, yeah, me and my friends used to just go down there and just climb, climb through the window. You go Is in it there. still there? Yeah. yeah oh. Sure. Dang. No, I didn't know that. I mean, when uh, Mitch was in Drifter. We went on some photo shoots and we broke into this building. I don't even know what it was. It was r- real unsafe. Where? Like it was like half collapsed. Where? Uh, it was downtown, like right behind that like bus station. Here? Like, like yeah, like down the tracks. We just walked down the tracks and then. And how? Building? Yeah. No. Yeah. Is it still there? I have no idea. It was so long. Some ago. abandoned building. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it was super weird. <laughs> have to check that. It was out like here. such a weird building too. Like I don't know how to describe it, but. It was, and I like crawled through a hole in the wall to get inside, and then oh, yeah. and unlocked one of the doors for everyone else to come in. Ah, and I don't know, it was just a really weird place. I feel photo like. shoot, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. drifter promo, yeah, yeah. promo, yeah. bro. Yeah, was there graffiti and shit all over the walls already? Um, I don't think so. Really, I don't think so. Oh. How about you? Uh, so I'm from Hastings. Okay. Um, that's like I guess I don't know, like 30 minutes south of Grand Rapids, but like. There was old, like, factory buildings and shit that were run down, and we would just, like, I don't know, Go run there. around them and break into them. And Smoke a giant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, like, we had a skate park there, but it was, like, in kind of, like, the factory was district it? Like some, of it. Oh. And it was, like, I don't know. It was... Like, people built it or, like, like you... Like kids and shit, or like it was kind of both. Like it was a little bit of both. Like the city didn't really do anything with it. It was like a slab of cement with like a metal quarter pipe. Like it was, it was not a pretty skate park, but it was not in a pretty area either. And that was where like all the broken down buildings. I've literally, I've literally been in like we went to Detroit a a, a lot. We got, uh, I have like abandoned building like videos and shit on the the same channel. Mm 
And we went to this place in Detroit. Uh, I think it was the AMC the headquarters mm. for like, you know, like cars and shit. And we were like going through the back. This place was torn to fucking shit. And we come across, I come across this one place and it was like a fucking people built like a skate park inside this abandoned ass building. They had like little tiny, like there weren't like full like half pipes or like quarter pipes and shit. Yeah. You know, I guess you could say. And yeah, like they, they built the whole fucking thing. Like they had us all going, I'm like, I'm feeling it. I'm like, check this fucking right. shit out. People are like coming up here and just skating. No shit. Dude, it was cool. I got like a similar story. My, one of my homies was like living in Lansing when he was going to LCC. And I'd go out there and visit him on weekends and we'd just go skate downtown. And I don't remember the name of this place, but it was like, it was like a skate park that had a name for it. And we went and tried to skate it. And we couldn't find it because it was in an abandoned building. Oh. But like, we called them. And they're like, oh, just go through the side door. So we, like, went in there. And, like, <laughs> we had to skate through the abandoned building to get to this park that was set up in the no middle of it. Sure. And it was, like, cool as fuck. Hell, like, yeah. It was a big-ass, like, it was, it was like, kind of short but really long half pipe. And then just, like, a fucking big quarter pipe on one end and some rails in the middle and a big-ass box. And it was, like... Dude, really cool sick, and there was like a little shop in there too. Like this guy was just selling decks and fucking ah, trucks and shit. wheels and all that. Yeah, it was damn. Crazy. Yeah, it was super cool. Black market I, shit. Yeah, I, I only got to go once. Wonder if he's even <laughs> paying rent. Like, yeah, how do you? Yeah. How do you do Is that? Tony Hawk's just pro skater or what? Building? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know, but it was <laughs> right. super cool. Hell yeah, dude. That, that's that's like super legit. Yeah, it was really fun. It's like underground venues and shit too. Yeah, like where you'd go to like fucking see a show, like all these punk bands are playing most of the time. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be fun. I'm so down for that. Dude, let's throw on a abandoned building show. Let's go. Dude, Dude's man. abandoned building show? That'd be tight as fuck, dude. Hell yeah. yeah. Hey, before, remember that remember that fucking warehouse we went to like like two that, or three years ago? That really weird party? Yeah, yeah. let's do that. <laughs> yeah, that uh, was let's have a really abandoned weird party. warehouse. Was yeah, it? like um, I think it's I don't know, like in Grand Rapids, it's over like Market Street area, but there's we don't just need to be yeah, yeah, <laughs> but, <laughs> like I don't know, just because I don't even know exactly where it is, but just over there yeah. somewhere, there's <laughs> over just some Market abandoned Street building. Area. Like, I don't we, know exactly no, where we it is. Parked Somewhere yeah, okay. random, and then just well, you went and played up, a show there, or like, or you seen a oh, show? Oh no, there? it you was like there? like we went to a show oh, at okay. like the intersection, and then they were oh, like, "Oh, after yo, party. so like there's an after party. It's like five dollars if you have a ticket to the other from the other show yeah. and stuff like that." I've but, heard of those. I've heard of that shit yeah. happening around Grand Rapids and shit. Yeah, <laughs> the people said it was crazy and fuck. Some yeah, of, no, it, some it, of the places because there was more than it's, just one. It's what like it is nuts. Like just people watching yeah like dude. just just seeing what everybody's fucking doing really. <laughs> Whoa, holy like, shit okay yeah no Whoa, and then there was another exactly. one that was like some tattoo shop like we oh, and yeah. i don't think oh, it shit. i don't think it's open yeah. anymore but like li- they're doing we literally, tattoos down there no we oh. just walked into a tattoo shop and they had like this behind their okay yeah, yeah. behind their front yeah. counter they had like a a bar but it was literally just a big ass cooler with some beer and shit in it and then we went downstairs and like there was a dj up there and it everyone was just downstairs and people were like smoking cigs smoking joint yeah like just and yeah. doing everything drinking everything like i was like well, well wait what place is this like, yeah. Like, uh, yeah i don't even like, yeah, i don't i don't even remember like not even trying to like hide it i don't yeah. remember that place i don't remember uh-huh. like what tattoo shop that was or where it was uh, i just remember like someone was like yo let's go to this party and then right. we walk in and it's a fu- we see like fucking tattoo chairs and a tattoo set up and everything and we're like yo what the fuck it's and like, like yeah like flash tattoos and shit <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah what the fuck's going on here you guys got any fucking um ghost stories or anything anybody f- ghost hear stories? anything like paranormal or anything like that uh, huh? i don't know if i have any ghost stories no i you guys there, believe in that so shit? Like, there was yeah. one time, well, it's not really a ghost story. It scared the shit out of me when I was a kid. But like, what? When like I was paranormal wa- shit? I, I mean, it, it like that's what I thought it was. Okay. But like, I was watching The Conjuring with uh, Mitch and his girlfriend. And it was like, when I, I was like 13. I don't know when that movie came out, but I was young as fuck or whatever. But there's this door next to me. And like, during one of the super quiet parts, this door just like closed next to me. 
and I was like, sit, sitting right next to me, just turned and looked at it, and I looked at Mitch, and I like ran to the other side of the room, <laughs> and we were just like freaked out for a minute, and then we realized there was like a window open oh, out in the other oh, room, no. so I closed it. But yeah, that was really scary for a second. Whoa. Dun dun dun. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Not for you though. Nothing for you. Um, I mean, I guess I don't know. There's just always one story. <laughs> There's always one. <laughs> that, oh. It it didn't really happen to me, but so my mom moved into this house and her friend came over with her very little kid. I don't even remember how old he was. He was very young, like three, maybe four. And they were standing in their kitchen or in her kitchen and <laughs> Apparently, like, he was just standing there, and he was like, who's that? And, like, pointed up to the corner. And then, like, I don't After she told me that, she also told me that, like, back in the 70s, some dude, like, killed himself in the basement. Oh, shit. Whoa. And yeah. so then, like, <laughs> out, yeah, I don't know. After that, I was like, uh, <laughs> what the fuck? I didn't sleep well in yeah, that house that. ever. Really. No, dude. <laughs> it was terrible. Somebody's so, like, standing it never really, there? Yeah, so, like, it didn't happen to me, but it just was then it was this eerie feeling the whole time I was like living in that house which luckily we didn't live in that house for that long at that point so I was like okay <laughs> now, I, now I can sleep again like, yeah Dude, that would suck. I didn't go in the kitchen like I don't know yeah, I, I was cause well, the kitchen no. there was a door to the basement and that's where it all went down so I was like nah was like, I'm, I'm staying out of the kitchen uh-uh. what about you Dex did I say it right that time Deek, Deek, Deek. Deek. <laughs> You'll get it one of these days. Deeks. Um, Deeks. No, I... <laughs> it took my mom like 20 years. Wait a minute. I really yeah. thought I said it right that time. It's oh, Deeks. 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 Like, like, Deeks. Like Deeks. 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 With a G. Deeks. Mr. Deeds. Yep. All right. Mr. I'm really not trying to insult Mr. you because I really thought I had it Mr. right Deeks. that time. That's why I said it so confidently. I was like, all right, <laughs> yeah. I got this. <laughs> Oh, really? I just, I just say I've never ended anything paranormal, but fuck, I don't know. I've had so much sleep paralysis in my life. I've seen a lot of shit that I'm just like, oh, yeah, it's a dream, probably. So you've had, like, the shadow person kind of, like, there while you're, like, kind of, like, you don't know if you're awake or not? Yeah, yeah, like, I've had, um, like, I'll have it to where, like, I'll even be, like, kind of nodding off, and then I'll, like, realize that I was nodding off, and I'll wake up, and then have it something happening but then I'll have to like sit and think of and I'm like is that it? well I'll have a memory of like someone coming up and talking and having like a slight like hey what's this what's going on alright bye like a quick conversation and that's it and I'll have to sit there for a second and think like if somebody what the fuck is just talking to me or, or, or was I just like dreaming that I don't know was I dreaming yeah yeah and yeah, you're like, like what the sleep fuck paralysis. yeah like the sleep paralysis And like it's cracked or something, and I start getting sleep paralysis. Like, I'll, like, yeah, I'll see shit. And like, and, like <laughs> he I'm has no like, idea what music was just playing. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> that was so creepy. That was, <laughs> that was real intense for a minute. I'm sorry, I couldn't hold it in anymore. There's longer. like spooky oh, music playing. Oh, like, oh, yeah, there was like yeah. some creepy ass music playing. <laughs> <laughs> DJ, dude, right. I didn't know was shit playing. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Deeks. I'll, I'll, I just I'll, had to I'll, say that to know that, so you know yeah, that I know. <laughs> yeah. So I just chalk everything I see up to a dream. Like I'm like, oh, it's not real. So then I just say I've never had any type of paranormal interaction. Yeah. No. That. Yeah. That sleep paralysis shit though. That's that fucking shit is like that fucking just terrible. Dude. Yeah. It sounds like yeah, like a, just a, yeah. an actual. Um, living nightmare yeah 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 like you'll you'll it's like your your brain wakes up before your body does so then i'll be laying there yeah i'll I'll be laying there like pretty much wide awake but then i can't move anything i can't even like open my eyes so then like Mm. i'll feel like i'm fully like just swinging my shoulder so i can roll out of bed but in reality like i'm just i might be doing like a little like a little shrug or something right so it's like you're you're fully just sitting there and you have no control. And at the, at the same time, I don't know what it is about your brain chemicals, but then they start making shit up where it's like, yo, there's something. Because you're still like, you're coming out of a dream and you know it's a dream, but then 
you still can't really tell if it's a dream. Right. You also can't move your body. So then you're like, oh. I have no fucking idea what's going on right now. All I want to do is just wake up. Yeah. Well, so what, so what, uh, so what, uh, shows we got coming up here for flooded kids? Uh, September 17th, Pyramid Scheme. Pyramid Scheme. Uh, doors we're, that are at eight. Yeah, we're going up at nine, like nine sharp. Nine sharp. Nine sharp. Yeah, nine sharp uh, we're setting that bitch off. Hit Let's us up go. for tickets. Yeah. Yeah. Eight, eight a pop, baby. Eight, eight a pop. Ten at the door. Uh, or, or you, yeah, you can wait until the night of and pay ten, or you can get that sweet deal from the Flooded Kids and pay yeah. eight. Hey. Sweet, sweet Hit us got up those, at Flooded Kids sweet. everywhere. And then yeah, at Flooded Kids everywhere. Yes. Everywhere. Instagram, everywhere. Facebook. Until the whole world drown. Just kidding. Everywhere. TikTok. I hope it doesn't drown. Hey, can you got, can you freestyle? Oh. <laughs> Got him. I so, I'm not a rapper, man. I don't. I don't. I'm not a I don't. I'm not a rapper. You can't freestyle. I can't. Uh, no. I don't freestyle. You, you want to try? <laughs> you don't even want to try. Do you want to try? You want to try? It's it's a cool beat. <laughs> Pressure's on. Pressure is on. I mean, I you guess I could. To the beat. I guess you can I could. To the beat for a minute. I guess I could try. I guess I, try? I don't know. I could do some you like pre-written freestyling. Oh, oh yeah, pre it kind of is. Try, just try, kind of is. try okay. it. Try it. Try it. Let's flow some. Yeah, yeah, I'll try yeah. To help you. I'll yeah. Try to help you. Do it. I'll try to help. You. Yeah, he'll kick in. I'll try. All right, I'll try to help all right, John. This one is is Maybe. on the keyboard. It says the acoustic <laughs> I'm intro. I'm like acoustic intro. I know. I've never, I've never been asked to freestyle. Mm. I wish he could hear it. I wish I wish yeah, Deeks yeah, could hear it. Yeah, I wish Deeks could hear it. You'll hear it. You'll hear it later. You're not the first one. Yeah. yeah no, I am. Not the first. I feel I like definitely he's the only one that could freestyle. Hmm. Me? Yeah. I think these could have freestyled on that for sure. Can you freestyle? Yeah. I think you can. Can you freestyle? Are you good at that? It, dude, it's an art. So. It's an art. That shit's it's hard, it's man. It's hard. It's crazy. I don't, there's, there's, I don't work like there's that. Dudes, yeah, there's, there's dudes that will like, I mean, they're rapping when they're fucking talking. Type of yeah. Thing. It's like. A freestyle, you just got to know how to flow and then throw some words in that might sound a little bit alike. Yeah. Like my, you, sometimes it's my, like my a brain, trick. It's a trick yeah. of the audience. Like, yeah, I just rhymed that, but did it make sense? Yeah. Like, my, I can't work that quick. Like, I can write pretty quick if I sit and listen to a beat for a little bit. Like, I can write some shit down pretty quick, but just, like, flowing, yeah. like, freestyle like yeah. that shit, yeah. I can't If you do played it. that, I like, two more times, I could probably write, like, a vert, like. A little something. All right, John, hit it, exactly. hit it one more time. Oh, hit it one yeah. more time, John. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna make me write. Acoustic intro. Uh, no, no. You <laughs> oh I shit! Did, did. You guys are gonna do it, huh? Yeah, he thought of something. Yeah, I, I don't care. You know, uh, you know, Brendan from Seattle Drive, right? Mm -hmm. He spit out two bars. Did he? It was funnier Damn, than fuck. Two, two bars, bro. Two bars. Yeah, two bars. That's all you gotta do is if you can get if you can get four bars, you beat Brennan. From Seattle Drive. We're calling him out right now. We're gonna make a clip of this. All right. And he didn't have to use his phone though, so he's already kind of got you beat. So you gotta, you really gotta get four bars. No, he wins. He wins. You gotta, you gotta get that four bars. We're gonna have a rap battle. It's gonna be Seattle Drive versus It's gonna be a rap battle. Yup. Yeah. By the way, these beats are supported by Soundstripes.com. Soundstripes.com. Shout out to them. I pay a subscription though, so. Give you guys, 
give you guys a little, you know, your flavor of the beats while you're while you're thinking. You know, I'm just, I'm just talking to everybody right now. You guys are writing, writing, writing. Put on my cleats. Mm. Suck these <laughs> beats. <laughs> I don't proclaim to be a rapper. Me either. Yeah. I thought this was a good one. I used it. I used it before. I used it something else. I was doing some other, some other fucking uh, video I was doing. Oh, 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 this was for uh, MTV Cribs. I did an MTV Cribs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah these two are right, so I'm talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> MTV Cribs? Yeah, an abandoned building. Yeah, well, I was like, we found a heart shaped hot tub. I was like, bro, this is a perfect spot to do like an MTV Cribs at an abandoned building. So then I did it all up with this song. Cause they always had like some fat, you know, like some song going in the background and yeah. shit. Yeah, this is actually a perfect like, like when in, in a in, in my ride when exhibits like talking and like explaining what he's gonna do to the vehicle. <laughs> this is what you would play. In the yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly, dude, exactly. You're going through. Yeah, I love to pimp my ride was the fucking shit. <laughs> pimp my ride was exhibit, man. But yeah, apparently, yeah. all those people's vehicles like went through like shit after because they didn't do like a lot. Yeah, they didn't do like nothing to the like to make it like be able to power all that shit. Yeah, like you put a fucking flat screen TV and a jacuzzi in the back, but then the jacuzzi is gonna eat out the fucking bottom of the truck yeah, jacuzzis bed and, fucking... and shit. Yeah, dude, they would yeah, be going like, all out. Holy I like, those fuck! Were, those were dope to look at, but I was like, those aren't gonna last, bro. They're not gonna last. That's what I always thought too. After they left, they'd have like fur and shit all over this. I'm like, dude, bro, that's just yeah. gonna get burnt up. You're gonna smoke a blunt in there one time. <laughs> it's gonna stay forever, <laughs> dude. Like seriously, I I miss that. I do miss that show though. No matter how fucking cheesy it is, that and MTV Cribs, I do miss both those shows. I, I just so fun to watch. I just miss that time period of shows. Like when yeah. it when it was everything was hip. Then you guys ready? Yeah. You guys got some bars? Yeah. You got some bars? Uh -oh. Yeah. I can oh. spit some. Uh oh. All right. This is pretty weak, but fuck it. You got it? Okay. Well weak, then we'll just do it as like a duo. You okay. know, you'll just pick your spot he's after he's done. I mean, I can go. go okay. Yeah, you do the classic thing two for two. You're like yeah. Corey two, Daniel two. Like okay. Kids oh, okay. All right. All right. There you go. All right. I don't know if we can. I don't know if it'll work, but. You don't know if it, yeah ooh just well just spit, spit your just, just right. spit yeah. something all right okay. you'll feel it here we go all right John what the fuck happened uh, acoustic intro did it that was weird Hey, hey, hey. I'm back at it like a relapsing crack addict. Counting bars like incarcerated mathematics. I was always in the back of my classes dreaming of. Uh. <laughs> oh, it was going. Oh, good. I had it in my yeah, head. Yeah, you did. You had a good flow. You had a good flow there. Yeah. Yeah. Flooded kids. Back and forth, can't stop the force. I'm in my head, I'm locked in doors. Fuck what you said and run from yourself. You put yourself in your own hell. Sleeping on the flooded kids. On your mouth, you catch a fish. Can't sleep too far. Oh, fuck. Oh, hey. 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 <laughs> that was good. <laughs> That's all that matters. All right, John. <laughs> This Damn. was fun, guys. Damn. This was that fun, was guys. Fun. I had to Dude. put you guys on the spot at the end. It was I, fun. I, I, wish, I understand. I wish, I wish Deegs, Deegs could have been here. I should have expected I it. I, I know. I, owe you I wasn't prepared yeah, yeah. for it, but uh -oh. I should have Next been. time. Yeah. I should have. I'll be prepared. <laughs> oh, <laughs> We're going to yeah. get asked that. I never thought about that. No. We're a rap group. We're going to ask not. us to freestyle. I did not. Hey, you never been asked? Hey. LA leakers. Hey, hey. exclusive. Oh man! Yeah, I did the same thing to like John Penn when he came on here. He's like, "Fuck, dude!" I, no, I, yeah, then, right. Then, then I was like, "Oh, let's just try it." Then right. you know, yeah, get something that sounds cool. For but sure. It's fine, you know. It's cool. I got some lyrics. We work hey, that right. hey, no, really. Hey, exactly. We'll, we'll pound it. Yeah. You want to pound your camera? Dude, thank you for having us. Oh, yeah.
Tony Kids. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Cool, man. I'm glad we can work it out. Everybody look out for Floody Kids. It's a area. 